Hello, hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to my top 10 video game pickups of 2019. There will be gameplay footage included for every game on this list. And it's live my friends, let me first say this isn't the top 10 best games of all time or even the top 10 games of this year, these are the top 10 uh, games that I have picked up from my video game pickup videos throughout the year. This is going to be a lot of fun and let me do a couple of honorable mentions before we begin. Uh, the first one is all of you my friends, everyone that's joined and supported the channel thus far. You guys are by far, it goes without saying, the best thing I have picked up. Hey Lydia, how you doing my friend? You are first, that is true, as we're about to get on with my first of my top 10 video game pickups. Good to see you here my friend. Uh, another honorable mention actually before we begin is uh, the Mega Drive Mini. This is from my November uh, pickups. You doing good? That's good to hear my friend. Uh, this is for my November pickups. I won't be including um, compilations or uh, plug and play systems. Uh, I did a whole video on this on my channel which you guys can check out. Um, so this won't be included but other than that let's, uh, let's begin with number 10 and number 10 which we will have gameplay footage for live is Ghoul Patrol for the Super Nintendo. Barely scraping in there. Barely scraping in there at number 10 is Ghoul Patrol for the Super Nintendo with this really weird case. I'm glad you're here as well my friend. Good to have you. We've got a lot of action coming. I plan to go about 10 to 15 minutes per game as we continue. Um, but we, we'll see how long we get. Uh, cartridge of course is in here. This is a weird plastic case. Kind of looks like a Mega Drive case. Um, but yeah, Ghoul Patrol is what we're going to start off with. It's a sequel to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, lesser known. Uh, I quite like it. I know it's a polarizing game. A lot of people hate it, but we're gonna get that going I'm gonna start it up and then we'll switch over do some gameplay for that bad boy um, For the Super Nintendo Ghoul Patrol. So here we go Let me switch over to some gameplay. You love classic games. They're awesome. Exactly. So let's switch over to some classic Gameplay right now, and I actually have a screen set up for each game as we get into this, so this should be a lot of fun. Alright, Ghoul Patrol, lesser known sequel to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I'm using the Retro Freak uh, for the, uh, the retro systems, and there's the title sequence for Ghoul Patrol. Alright, let's begin. Start a game here. Yeah, I'm using the Retro Freak, very useful system to play all of these. Alright, which one am I? <laughs> Which I guess I'm uh, I guess I'm Zeke if I'm on the on the left, so I guess I'll be Julia. Yeah, I think Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, okay. Let's begin. I am Julia Check it out dudes. There is a cool exhibition about to about ghosts and demons of the dark ages at the library This is a really long intro sequence actually if I remember. Come on Zeke. Let's go. Um, so we can, <laughs> the music's pretty funny here, uh, look out Zeke, there is something happening to the chest, not the chest, no problemo Julie, it's just some sort of special effect, it's not, <laughs> gets confusing which player you are, I know right, this exhibition is totally rad, I don't know Zeke, I have a funny feeling about this, the scrolling's really slow as well, <laughs> quite like the music though. Ghosts and demons, huh? Well, this looks very old. What do you think is inside? Hmm, dunno. Only one way to find out, dude. I think he would say dude after that. He comes across that way. Look at this, Zeke. It is a phrase, it says, to you, the reader. Best beware of ghosts and demons everywhere. I imagine it's said in that sort of voice. All kinds of sizes, short and tall, fat, skinny, big and small. This is, I, guess, I said it was going to be quite a long intro. Uh, but don't worry or run away. Ghosts and demons just want to play. Uh, the scrolling's really slow as well, which is quite funny. To play, they need a boy and girl, so these new friends can join this world. To invite them over, say the line. It is ghosts and demons time. It's ghosts and demons time? 
<laughs> but first practice and rehearse. For you must say it in reverse. In reverse? Okay. Cool. This is fresh, man. Fresh, come on. <laughs> Let's say it together. Alright. Okay. Whatever you say, Zeke. Alright, what, what is that in reverse? Emmet Smoomet. Then uh, I can't say that. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but they did say it. They said it backwards. And that... What's happening, Zeke? I have waited for so long for somebody to release me. <gasps> now I can conquer all the different time dimensions with the help of my minions. <gasps> Not the time dimensions. What have we done? We are doomed! Well, that's on the side of optimism. No way, man! I am gonna fight this ugly demon dude and send him back to his freaky dimension. See, I thought he was the I thought he was the dude. Um, I am with you, Zeke. I thought he was the kind of guy that would say dude a lot, evident by the fact that he did. And so shut the jaws of the demon, sending us to the start of the game. Now this game plays uh, a little bit slower than. Um, than Zombies Ate My Neighbours, but the principle is pretty much the same. Pick up keys to open doors, kill the monsters, and rescue the people about the level. You will get, uh, you will get that, uh, over here kind of thing, on help signs from the enemies to lead you towards them. But, what is this? The filing cabinet is throwing papers at me? Alright, and you can also collect keys and special weapons. Keys to open doors and special weapons to attack enemies. I actually haven't attacked any enemies yet. I think there's a slide button as well. Okay, that's my that's my attack button. And that's my change weapon, okay. Alright, so I think I'm Yeah, I used the crossbow's got infinite ammo, but it's fairly weak. And then there's a slide button. I think I pretty much need to use the slide because they're really slow. Alright, let's go find someone we can save. It's at least, at least, uh... Oh, there's another key. So I think I can s slide over to that. Oh, there's a, there's a person there that I can help. Dude, man, radical. Oh, kill it. Hey, we got it, we got it, we killed that ghost. Right, so we can also go outside, but I saw someone... I saw someone over there that I want to help. But yeah, awkwardly the characters move fairly slowly. Uh, but... It's cool enough, it's cool enough that this is a sequel to Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, or as it was known over here, just to zombies. Uh, to me, that makes it pretty rare, dude. You get a little distance with a slide, okay, so... Oh, there's a weapon there. Didn't see that last time I was in this area. Jump past here. Alright, there's another key in here. And demon filing cabinets. There's a guy looking at his book, <laughs> reading his magazine. Grab the potion, regardless of everything that's going on. Ow! Alright, yeah, so the person I want to save is probably in there. But let's, uh, let's check this out. Another key. You know, I, should, I don't know why I'm conserving ammunition, because this weapon has uh, infinite ammo, right? As I jump into one of the enemies. Ow! I do have a health kit. I'll have to figure out how to use as well. What are these croissants? I'll take those. Oh, save the dude. Oh, I'm victims at the top that I need to rescue, so seven more. Alright. Uh oh. Alright, so my crossbow is infinite, so I think I'll keep using my crossbow. It seems to me like there's something in here. Let me have a look. Nope. Uh, destroy that book. <laughs> Can't hit the book! There we go. We got it. The button placement's a bit weird as well. I would have liked the slide and the jump button to be next to each other. Alright, so I'm gonna go outside. The rest of the victims must be outside. I like the music for this game as well. My only complaint, my only complaint, which is probably why this is in the number 10 slot, uh, is that the characters move around a little bit slowly. A little bit on the slow side. Oh, eyeballs! Uh. Oh, they keep respawning, okay. Okay, let's keep that in mind, and escape. 
through the door. Demons! Uh. Alright, another key. Getting a good amount of keys here. That is the key to success. Pun intended. The guy having a picnic there with all these eyeballs around. What's he eyeballing? Get it? Oh, I ran right into that. Alright. Let me see if I can save someone else. Let's try and get through at least the first level. Painter painting a picture of chaos. These monsters keep spawning, so I don't think I need... Oh, they're just, they're just pigeons, right? <laughs> they're just... Oh, the tree's coming to get me! Tremendous! Oh, I'm going to change weapon. Oh, I I'm using my med kit or something there. I'm not sure what's going on. The buttons have a weird layout, but let's try and save somebody. Five victims left. There we go. Four victims left. You know, in uh, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, sometimes you'd be given a little bit of a break. A little bit of a break when uh, when somebody would uh, kill one of them. Let's save that guy chilling out. That's just a pigeon, so I don't need to bother about that. We don't need to catch the pigeon. That tree is going to attack me if I... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Just go grab that and beware of the tree. Uh. Devils with pitchforks. Uh-oh. Oh, I think he got him. <laughs> I think he got him. I think the eyeballs got him. Yep. Or the tree, actually. The trees come alive. Yeah, let me change weapon. Something a bit more powerful would kill this tree. I can't kill it while it's moving? That's annoying. <laughs> Right, there's, a, there's a guy out there, rain cloud over his head. It's the least of his problems. The least of his problems. Oh, giant snails with weird faces. Gotta be wary of them as well. There's another guy. Okay, so I know where the last two guys are. I know where the last two people are. I just need to make it back to the, um, need to make it back to the doors to get through. So I can make it through to the other side. I think it would be a good idea to use an item now. So how do I use an item? Like, select? Yeah, I think Select used yeah, Select used it. That's cool. Oh my my uh my trigger buttons uh, uh changed them around. Okay, so I'll have my potions ready. So we Oh trees! The trees come alive! I think I'll use this pistol because it seems it seems fairly uh fairly stocked. I've got like almost two hundred ammo for it, and I know where the, the last two people are, they're on this side. So I can go grab them. Oh, the trees! Oh no, okay, I've got to get back in the house, and then I can get through. Ah, uh, that, that's the ticket. Back in the house. Alright, there we go. Let's slide along. Do this way. Get another key, I can make up for the one I just used. Oop. Use the war... I think it's a war pistol, or, or a gun. Whoa, he's throwing fire, fire at me! I'll fight fire with fire. Alright. Rescue this guy. 169 left. Nice. 69. Alright. And this guy, I think is just here. And then I should probably get the exit door. A la, as zombies ain't my neighbours. But I think this time around the exit door appears in like a... Yeah, in like a fixed place. So it's gonna, it's gonna direct me towards it. In the same way it directs you towards... Um, people that need help and I have to follow the sign to the exit Let's see if we can get there uh oh run for it All right, it's in this turn there it is the portal to the next time dimension as it referred to in the opening which is a kind of confusing concept but there you go and that's level one down the next level is in the city I think Save me, they say. I'm on it. Oh, that guy's easy to find. That time's trapped behind a bin. Oh, but I can jump over it, nice. Otherwise it would have been his doom. See what I did there? See what I did there? I'm slowly getting to grips with the controls as well. Oh, zombies. Uh-oh. Get him. He exploded, but I think he just respawns. Oh, he's respawning. Oh my goodness, they respawn so fast. <laughs> Oh, get out of my way! He's at a point where he can injure me, but I can't get past him. <laughs> he instantly respawns! Alright, there we go. We got in there. I get the croissant, I guess. I think that's a croissant. Can I select that? Oh, I used a potion. 
Oh well, whatever. Turned into I turned into a Grim Reaper, but I'm <laughs> but I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck where I was. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, I can slash it stuff, but I can't move. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> We're slashing away. We're slashing away at nothing. <laughs> My goodness, my goodness, let me move out of the way. So on the original uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, you turn into a kind of, um, you turn into like a demon. Uh, I guess I was, yeah, I was supposed to use the uh, the trigger buttons, trigger buttons to switch through. Wow, how long does this last? This would have been great if I wasn't trapped. <laughs> All right, let me, let me return to my player. Let me return to my player. Okay, I think I'm turning back. There we go. Now I can jump. Now I can jump again. <laughs> All right. Oh, I guess the croissant thing is a weapon. Hey, Otaku, how you doing, my friend? Thanks for dropping a like, buddy. That's awesome of you. Good to see you, my friend. I don't know what it was actually. Oh, maybe that gave me back life short term. That's maybe all it does. Okay, I'll switch to the keys because then I won't be tempted to accidentally use them. There's another key. Thanks for the like, Otaku. That's awesome of you, my friend. Oh, I got run over. Yeah, I guess those. Uh, I guess that that was food, and that gave me back health temporarily. There we go. I think I can do. I can do more with the. Um, you know what? I will keep the potion ready in case I want to use it. That uh, would be useful as long as it's not in that situation. There's a ghost. We're using lasers. Save me, they say. All right, seven victims left. There's victims. We gotta save him. Uh, there he goes. Nice. I think he instantly respawns though. Feels a bit unfair. Ow! Ran into the car. I think some of them. Yeah, some of them across the road as well. Save that guy with the umbrella. Ow! Now I gotta get across the road <laughs> to the other side. There's a dustbin over there that's gone mad. Ow! We ran into that one. All right. I'm gonna use the other potion. We use the other potion. Maybe it'll turn me into a Grim Reaper. Yeah. All right. So now we can now we can take advantage of the Grim Reaper and wreck stuff. <laughs> now let's see how it feels. Okay. I can still pick up items. Can I save people as the Grim Reaper? Yes, I can. Okay. So it is actually very useful. There's a blockage here, but I can get past it. Get these guys. It's an it's an awesome thing. The inability to jump though is quite bad because we got uh, we got stopped earlier when we couldn't jump. Cars can't hurt me as well, which is pretty good. As we get around space. This is a big level. This is a real big level. But this way it says. <laughs> I can't jump as the Grim Reaper, but I'll grab that key while I have the uh, invincibility. And run along. There's a guy to save. Four victims left. Oh, we're turning back to ourselves. Oh, there's Grouch. <laughs> in the bin. There's a guy in that building as well to be saved. So we'll, ma we'll make our way there as well. Grabbing a lot of weapons. Over here he says, I saw you, I saw you. Oop. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we got a, we got a one-up, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna save this person. Did I have a... Oh yeah, I didn't have another health pack, I already used it, that's fine. Oop. Laser beams! Eat lasers, sucker! Oop. Right, anything in here? Let me see. Another key. So you open a door with a key to get another key. Interesting. Oh, there's a guy there. I can save that person. Let me grab that guy in the chair. Chilling out and relaxing with all of this carnage going on around him. <laughs> there's another key there I guess I can grab. Two victims left. I wait for the the. Uh, okay, there's someone on this side. Oh, I ran right into the car. <laughs> I got across that one. One victim left, and it'll it'll give me the general direction where they are. Oh, gotta watch out for Grouch. Grab that key. Got four keys. It seems like more than I need. There he is. Okay. Oh, there's a blue potion there. I wonder what that does. Maybe it does health. Alright, so it should give me a direction towards the way out as well. Destroy the, uh, destroy the zombies. You see that? They respawn instantly. That is pretty funny. Uh. Uh. 
Alright, the exit is this way? Yeah, there it is. There's the portal. Okay, there's the exit portal. Hey, Calvin, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. <laughs> oh, you know me, my friend. I love the coffee. I love the coffee. Alright. So that, uh, that is... Oh, <laughs> there's all kinds of madness. That is, um... That is Ghoul Patrol! Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get got <laughs> by all of the monsters. No! Oh, we still got one up. How are you doing, Calvin? Good to see you here, my friend. Good to see you here. Let's go ahead, uh, let's go ahead and go on to the next game. Uh, I actually, I want to see what the dying animation is like, actually. <laughs> just before we go on to the next game. Oh, we, we, we got got. And it's a game over. Good to have you here, Calvin. We're going to move on to the next game. We've got 10 games to get through on this. Game over. Alright, with that said, my friends, let's move on to the next game. And the next game on the list. So that was from uh, June, my June video game pickups. Uh, Google Patrol. This next one is from my July video games pickups. And that is uh, for the Game Boy. And that is Nemesis. This is a scrolling shooter, side scrolling shooter. It's a game I've been looking for for a while, and I'm very happy to get my hands on it. It's a good game. Um, it's for the original Game Boy. It doesn't have color, but I'll be playing it. Um, I'll be playing it as if I was playing it on uh, the Game Boy Advance SP. So it'll force it to do color. Uh, I'm glad to have you anyway. Uh, either way, Calvin, thank you for being here. I'm sorry to hear that you uh, that you've been sick, my friend. I hope you get better soon. Uh, but I'm very glad to have you here, my friend. Awesome to have uh, all of you guys here for my top 10 pickups. Let's go play some Nemesis on the Game Boy. Hey, I appreciate you sharing out the stream, Otaku. Much love, my friend. Let's boot up some Nemesis. Alright, let's play this game. And I have an overlay sorted out for that as well. So let's begin with some Nemesis action on the Game Boy. Here we go. <gasps> Nemesis! Now this game isn't in colour, but I've kind of forced it to do colour. Alright, let's play it. Oh, it's gone back to that. It, it's one of those games if you leave it on the menu too long. Uh, so we'll start on stage one, level one. Uh, is that like resets? Is that like lives? I guess I'll go for lots of lives. Lots and lots and lots of lives. Wait. I... <laughs> Why does it keep going up? Okay, I'm going to leave that. What was that on originally? Was that on two? Okay, I'm going to leave it on two. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, auto on is fine, so shoot with uh, shoot with A, power up with B. Let's do it. And I think I can hold it down to keep shooting. Uh, we get power ups. Um, this is this is pretty much like a, a Gradius game, and it plays in a very similar way. Um, I really like the music as well. It's got good music to it. The Game Boy uh, did have some good music on it and some good games on it. Lots of hidden gems. So now I can pick my uh, pick my power up, and I get myself a little shield there. Oop. Which uh, destroys stuff when they go into it, which is pretty good. Fine. Oh, what? I hit something in the background. Oh, that is live, so I can make myself have millions of lives? That's ridiculous. Well, we'll do that next time. Hey, the best of the best. That's right, Wojek. Good to have you here, my friend. Let's go shoot some bad guys and get some... Uh... I can't believe it lets you have that many lives, if that's correct. Missiles is really good. That hits the ground. <laughs> that's actually really funny. So it lets you just have, like, millions and millions of lives. Or is that the amount of time you get to rest between lives, actually? Maybe that's what it says. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the, uh, this is one of the Gradius games, I believe, or it's very, very close. It plays exactly the same. Pretty much, pretty much plays exactly like a Gradius game. You can buy yourself some upgrades as well. I love the music and I love the gameplay. It's simple, but it's a lot of fun. The missile is probably one of the most important things to, to get on this. Oh, nice. We're getting we're getting good now. We've got a little robot shooting out the bottom as well. Yeah. It's got some great music. It does indeed. Yeah, I like it when you get more. Whoa! I like it when you get more power ups and you start to feel a bit more a bit more unstoppable, a bit more powerful. Eventually, I will uh, I will not be able to get certain power ups, but I can get other ones. Look at all of the shots I got going now. I'm feeling a, I'm feeling more powerful now. 
<laughs> but it could all come to uh, it could all come to a crashing end if I walk into enemy uh, items. And the items in the background seem to kill you as well. So like those mountains also seem to kill you. And the screen is getting a bit crazy right now, so I need to be wary. More enemies appear on screen, so we've got to be wary for that as well. I uh, see. I can't get more. I can't get more of that power up, so I've got to get this next one, which is lasers, which I'm actually not a big fan of. I think I would have rather have kept the power up I had, but you know. Uh, oh, can't get that one either, or that one. But I can get this. Oh, okay, so I can switch back and forth from those. That's pretty interesting. I think I don't want the lasers because they're this kind of. It also has a weird, annoying sound to it, like wah wah. These mountains don't kill you. Oh, look at that! It killed me. Reminds me of the uh, the NES game where the mountains go and kill you. All right, so I back. Oh wow! I just walked right into that. I walked right into that. Game over. We gotta give it another go though. We gotta give it another go. Konami greatness. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, of course, if you leave it on the screen for too long, it'll go back to playing that logo as well. I think these settings were all fine. Um, seemingly, it lets you have near infinite rest. I don't know what that means, but there you go. Let's have another go. See if we can see if we can better our score. I'm glad that you can hold down the button and shoot. That's something I'm very glad about because um, the ones where you have to like keep tapping the button, it can get really really annoying. I'm glad you can just hold down the button here, and that's not an issue. Ooh. Let's get the missiles powered up because they are very useful. Uh, multi shot going. Yeah. All right. Try and get this guy from an angle so he can't get me. Oh, oh, he had a good shot at it though, he had a good shot. Grab this. The guys are attacking me from all, all angles. Oh, we've got to be wary, but we can also grab those things to destroy everything on screen. Oh. Alright, so... I'm going to grab that another power-up, but I don't want the laser. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to take the laser, but I'll take that. Yeah, now I've got bullets going from all directions. So we're doing a lot better this time round. Oh. Oh, I was scared I was going to get got then. Uh, whoa, there's a lot of enemies on screen. Uh, wait, I want that. Uh, Alright, don't want the laser though. Those uh, missiles from the bottom are going to take that out. i got shield now as well. I feel much more powerful now. Yeah. So get, we're doing better now. Like I said, there's a reason why this is on my top 10. I, I enjoy space shooters. And this is a fine one, an underrated one, for a system that's very, uh, very overlooked sometimes for certain types of games. A lot of people will think of um, the Game Boy as simply being a machine for Tetris, and although Tetris is really, really good on it, the Game Boy has a lot of good games to offer. Hidden gems, perhaps, like this. Uh, whoa, there's so much firepower coming my way. Let's keep avoiding it and grab all the power-ups. Ooh, okay. Oh, that, that, they're mine. I thought that was enemy fire. Uh, those two orbs floating around my ship. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Now, what do I do here? Is this like a, in uh, in the uh, NES game? Do you have to like stay in the corner? At least I can shoot them, right? Will I be fine if I stay here? Will I be fine? I'm going to try staying in the corner. See if that works. I think my shield is taking some damage. But I'm going to try this. Yeah, we're good? We're good? Alright, let's move on. Enemy boss, it looks like. This guy could take us down. <laughs> Shoot him in the face! Uh, whoa! All the projectiles are coming in. I think I've lost my shield. That's fine. Oh, let's try and avoid him. Uh, just keep out of the way. Keep my fire going in. Do we get him? Do we get him? Down goes that bad boy. Down he goes. Nice! Alright, we'll give this one a, a little bit longer, but then I'll have to move on. Shoot the center. I think we got we got pretty good. We got pretty good because we were able to duck around him. And keep going. Alright. Man, this is cool. A lot of a lot of stuff on screen, but I've got a, I got a lot of firepower going out as well. So we can Oh, I just went right into that. <laughs> Ship lost. Oh, all my power-ups as well. <laughs> all of my sweet power-ups. Not my power-ups. I need those to survive. Uh. Oh, I like the music here as well. It's very chaotic. Oh yeah. <laughs> GG's indeed. We we tried. 
without those power-ups, if you can't be a hero without your power-ups, you don't deserve those power-ups at all, MVL. That's what Iron Man said to me. Iron Man said that to me uh, when I was Spider-Man, and it rings true now, as it did then. Uh, whoa. Alright, let's see if we can get back into this. Let's give, a, let's give a good showing of it, if we can. Let's get some multi-directional shooting going in. Oh, nice. I like the music in this area as well. I feel more confident the more weapons I have, but we've only got one life left. We've got to make it count. You've got to live that one life to the max, so to speak. Yeah, let's get him. Get him. Alright, we got him. I had to avoid those guys. And I went right into the fire. Alright. Let's go back to the full screen webcam and move on to the next game. So that was uh, Nemesis from uh, my July video game pickups. We're going to move on to another shooter. Hey, welcome Daniel. So I have Metroid for Game Boy. I've got Metroid uh, 2 Return of Samus. Um, one of your favourites. It is a great game, but it's not on my... Because I didn't pick it up this year. It's not on my top 10 games for this year, but it is a great game. It is a great game. Uh, the next game is going to be another shooter, and that is uh, one I picked up in August, and it's for the Game Boy Advance, so another Game Boy system, and it is, uh, it is Star X. This is a different kind of shooter, though. You good? That's good to hear, my friend. And uh, this game is really awesome. This is a definite hidden gem. It plays, uh, it plays a lot like Star Fox. Or, um, or Starwing, as we call it over here. Um, Star X, it's a really good game. You guys are going to like this. This game looks fantastic. And we're going to switch over to some gameplay footage in just a moment as I set it up. And likewise, guys, I'm playing, I'm playing everything so far on my retro freak. It just makes this way easier to do in one video. <laughs> way easier to do in one video. All right, let's do this. Let's move over to Star X. For the Game Boy Advance Star X. Alright, here we go. And this is a really cool game. Uh, it looks amazing. It's got that uh, it's got that same graphical style as uh, as uh, Star Fox and same gameplay as well. It is fantastic. And look at that. It's a very pleasing looking game. Uh, definitely makes you think of uh, of Star Fox. You are your people's last hope in a desperate fight for freedom. <gasps> oh, I, I hope they I hope they're not expecting me to uh, I hope they're not expecting me to do incredibly well. You are the only survivor of a doomed diplomatic envoy sent to befriend a new alien race. Okay. Let's do this. I like the music here. It sets up really nice. The peace talks were brief. The Karask are not here to coexist, they are here for hard merchandise. Slaves, oh boy, we ain't gonna let that stand. You must fight your way back home and warn your people about the threat of the Karask, I'm gonna say Karask, before it is too late. <gasps> Check out this Game Boy Advanced uh, 3D going on here. Now what does that remind you of, right? That looks very Star Fox. Almost identical in game in uh, graphical style, right? For the Super Nintendo. It looks really cool. Here we go. It's giving you a little bit of a uh, cinematic story here. A little bit of the cinematic to whet your appetite for the gameplay. And there's the uh, there's the events playing out in front of you. Here come the tanks! Hey Sam M, how are you doing my friend? Welcome! What's up buddy? I am well, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> good to see you my friend. There's the alien. Oop. I am good my friend. Oh boy. So there's the uh, peace talks I think. The daring escape. He punched him in the face. <laughs> and then he escaped, I think. Mass Effect for the Xbox 360 are good games. I've heard those are really good games actually, I need to I need to go on and do those at some point. And then he escaped. You see that? He went and punched him in the face. And apologies for the weird uh, 
webcam position here. That is Star X, but I couldn't really think of a Game Boy Advance layout because the Game Boy Advance screen is much wider. Uh, anyway, what options do I have actually? Can I set it to like easy? Yeah, let's go easy. Music? I like the music. Um, invert the Y? Yeah, let's invert the Y. Yeah. Why? Because that's how I like to play. Alright, let's start. Star X. And single player. Let's do it. Alright, we have to escape from this water planet. My scanners show fighter ships, um, gunboats and fighter craft. The font there is really weird. Uh, carriers are all in the air. Okay, let's start. Good to have you guys here as we play the top 10. Alright, here we go. Alright, there's a boost button. Use the boost to get through! And it looks and plays essentially exactly like Star Fox. Exactly. Which is great. This is on the Game Boy Advance, my friends. How about that? A Game Boy Advance, uh, essentially Star Fox entry. It is awesome. Whoa. Shoot the ships. Get out of here. There we go. Alright, should I use the boost to get through? Use the boost! Oh, weapon upgrade. Okay. It's good to get. Shoot the enemies. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. And this game is really cool. I really enjoy it. Uh. Happy holidays indeed. Indeed. Uh. Thank you guys for being with me during the holidays. Chill replenish. Okay, that's good because I did take a couple of hits thus far. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, they're all around me! <laughs> Alright, I have to keep hammering the fire button, you can't hold it down. I actually would prefer it when they let you just hold down the button. Because you're going to be want to be firing all the time, right? I can't really think of a time, except in Star Fox, when you had, like, um... When you had, uh, your, your allies go in front of you, then you, then you sometimes wanted to not fire. But I can't see a situation here where I don't want to be shooting stuff. Uh, Happy holidays to all of you, my friends. Thank you for joining me at this time whilst we go over the top 10 video game pickups that I picked up during the year. Again, it's not the best 10 games of all time, or indeed the best 10 games of the year, but uh, in my opinion, the best 10 games I was able to pick up during that period. I streamed um, all of my pickups, like every single one. Um, Yesterday, that was really fun, we did a uh, special, uh, showed off all of my pickups, uh, so maybe you guys might have had an insight into what the top 10 might be. New arcade one up for yourself, uh, uh, Calvin? Nice. Alright, we've got a password, that's mission one. I don't like this. Do you hear that rumbling in the distance? What can it be? Be careful, Rob! Like Rob the robot? Alright. I like that music as well. Pretty cool. All right, let's move it. Hey, Slayer seven six eight, how are you doing, my friend? Good to have you here. What's up, Slayer? Uh, uh. Oh, I think that boulder was gonna fall on me if I didn't shoot it. Oh. Running out of shield as well, actually. I think I have bombs as well, but I haven't had any need to use them. How are you doing, Slayer? Oh, destroy the big boat. Oh, what's that? Can I replenish my shield? New weapon. What? I don't want a new weapon, I like the lasers! <laughs> Whoa! Oh boy! It's the shut your butt experience. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So many bad guys to shoot. Whoa! Whoa! Kill all the bad guys! I need some more shield! I'm running out of shield! Oh, got him! Nope, nothing in, nothing in there. Smash everything. Hey, Jonan, welcome. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. I know your internet is not doing so well right now. Poor Jonan. Get well soon, internet. <laughs> Ooh, shield power. Hey, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Nice. Whoa. Okay, kill all these things. This is a very addictive game as well. We'll play this for a little bit. I've got 10 games to get through on this video. So we'll play it for a little bit. 
plus it's a very uh, it's a very active game, so it's quite difficult to uh, to see the chat. Oh boy! When you're playing a very active shooter like this, uh, shield replenish, nice. Ha ha! My high-powered assault craft will make short work of you. And then he talks really fast. <laughs> so you doing well, Slayer? That's... Whoa! Right, what's my bomb button? Bomb! Bomb him! Bomb him! Do a barrel roll! How do I bomb him? <laughs> Press all the buttons! I don't, maybe I don't have any bombs. Okay, let's just shoot him. Shoot him! <laughs> I need to use the boost to get through! <laughs> Alright, I press all the buttons. Blow it up. I'm too close. I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> and I exploded. Damn it. That's what happens. Sometimes you explode when you're trying to figure out buttons. Yeah, my high powered assault craft. I guess we'll have another whack at this. <laughs> I guess we'll have another whack at this. Waiting for the internet to be fixed. That's good to hear, my friend. I hope you can get it sorted out. I think you said uh, you were seeing someone on Monday, right? Oh my goodness, they're throwing so much firepower on me. Uh, uh, hope it should be back next week. Yeah. Wow, this thing's just obliterating me. Uh, it's just obliterating me. Uh, I could just be missing my target. See, I'm I'm thinking that those four things to the to the right of my uh, of my uh, display are bombs, maybe. But I, but I can't. Put, you know, sometimes. Wait, maybe. It's a Starwing ripoff. It is exactly a Starwing ripoff. Maybe if I hold the button, that does it. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Ah, my high-powered assault craft will make short work of you. What if I hold the button? What does that do? No. <laughs> Press all the buttons. Press all the buttons. He's gonna. He's gonna demolish me. Cactus three sixteen. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I guess I'm supposed to be like barrel rolling a lot. But I'm pretty sure there was, I'm pretty sure there was a bomb uh, in this game. I just don't know what the button is. Ooh, I'm gonna get wrecked, but that's fine because we need to move on to the next game. Term is homage, yeah. <laughs> I I would say clone. Rip off is another way of saying it. But yeah, it is. It is. It's a good game though. It's a good game. I can't figure out this boss, but uh, <laughs> but there you go. Ooh. Okay, let's let's get wrecked one more time. <laughs> let's get wrecked one more time, and then we will move on to the next game. Because I spent in Venice, I spent a, a good while playing some of the previous ones. So it's fine to go under on some of the others, especially when I'm just getting wrecked like this. See, if I had a bomb, then I could just demolish all of these things, and I wouldn't take so much damage standing here. It looks awesome. Yeah, they did a good job. It looks very good. It looks good. I only have the loose cartridge, so I don't have the manual, unfortunately. But, but okay, so it there is some combination of buttons because I can get a lock. I'm not sure what that does. There we go. You considering collecting PS4 again? PS4 is a good system to collect it for, actually. If you wait a little while, you can get games really cheap as well. Why well, we got wrecked by that? Absolutely wrecked. Game over. I even like the game over screen as well. Alright, let's go to the full screen webcam for the next game. So that was uh, Star X, Star X for my August video game pickups. The next uh, game is from my January, uh, way back uh, in January, and this is a really good one as well. <laughs> this is a really good one. And it is for the Super Nintendo again. We're going back to the Super Nintendo. And it is Illusion of Time, uh, also known as Illusion of Gaia Overseas. I got it in the box. Hey, no worries, Jonan. Appreciate it, my friend. You're awesome for being here, even with your internet being bad. And I will catch you later, my friend. Um, yeah, Illusion of Time. I got it in the box. Pretty, pretty awesome game. It's called Illusion of Time over here instead of Illusion of Gaia. Over. And um, yeah awesome game. Uh, we're going to go over to some gameplay footage for that as well. So let me uh, get that set up for you, my friends. Oh, I, I always, I always want games. I have an insatiable appetite for games. <laughs> that is how it is. Let me go over to the uh, Super Nintendo and set this up 
to play for you guys, my friend. And I have another overlay for this as well. Number seven on the list as we keep going down. Retro Robbie's favorite. It is, yeah, it's a really good game. All right, let's go over to Illusion of Time on the Super Nintendo. Here we go. Let's do this and switch over to that screen. All right. So, um, I actually, as well, it says Illusion of Gaia above. I couldn't find the, um, I couldn't find this box art. I couldn't find uh, the Illusion of Time box art. So, because I was making this in quite a hurry, I had 10 overlays to make. And so I couldn't find this one. So it says Ill Illusion of Gaia above my head. But this is a very, very good game. Let's do it. Same name, uh, same game, different name, uh, depending on your region. All right, so let's start our journey. And uh, Diary 1, start from the beginning. All right, well, I pressed the wrong button, I think. I was Start journey. Okay, there we go. I thought I, I, thought I went back then. <laughs> We're in school. All right, let's learn about the game. Oop. My name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with a disaster. Somehow I made it back to the South Camp. I still can't believe my father is gone. I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world somewhere. I will meet my father. <gasps> oh, class is in session. This is a great game. Uh, I'm glad to have got a copy of it in the box as well, complete with manual and everything. Uh, that's all for today's lesson. You four do your best not to fall behind. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. Right, that's that's frightening. <laughs> See you guys at the usual place. All right. Uh, Eric says, I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. <laughs> and then he wanders off. <laughs> You're gonna wreck it. <laughs> oh, what does this guy have to say? Like always, the cave at the seashore. <gasps> Are we selling seashells at the seashore? The seashell seashells. The sea sell seashells at the seashore. I'm, I'm lost. Let's go. <laughs> You are not equipped. Not equipped to deal with what? <laughs> That's the uh, B button right there. But look at how beautiful this game looks. The Super Nintendo had such, such great graphics. Uh, the shore at the beach, for sure, is where we're going. I think. I think, oh, I think we also have to go back to our parents as well. Which I can't remember which house. It's one of these houses. Hello? I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. We may live in troubled times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. What? Sell me a weapon! I can handle it. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Okay, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Do you want some of Grandma Lola's pie? Uh, welcome home, Will. Dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. Alright. Yay! Let's go play. Alright. So we have to go to the cave. At the seashore, seashells, sea sea cells, she sells seashells at the seashore. There we go. Say it a million times fast. Is there a run button? I can twirl all my staff as well. But he's going pretty fast as it is. The seaside cave. It was natural for the four friends to call the seaside cave their second home. Is this narration? Usually, when lessons were done at the school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Alright, let's talk and play games until sundown. What is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Hey, Seth, tell me something. <laughs> I'm going to win again for sure. Alright. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. What's a desperate look? Ah, uh, news! Big news! The Princess of Edward Castle has run away. They say she came to South Cape. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The Princess is probably that spoiled girl Kara, the one you like so much. Maybe the soldiers will come here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet too. Don't we all, my friend? Don't we all? All right. So with that said, 
What do you have to say, my friend? Everyone here, what should we do today? Or well, let's do a top 10 video. I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moves the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Show me again. All right, so the button that twirls the stick moves this around, whichever button that was. There we go. Oh, he moved it. It is the uh, right button, the R bumper. Yeah, how about that? I moved it good. If I could only do that, we could push it. Pick a card, any card. I'll put four cards face down. Pick one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Alright, well this one I don't think I have any trick for, right? The Ace of Diamonds. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I do more things without touching them. <laughs> I think it gave me a hint there for like a second. Oop. Picked up a card. It's the Ace of Diamonds, of course. Alright! I'm speechless. This is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Many, most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. <gasps> I see dead people. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Oop. Oh, I skipped the dialogue if I walk away. That's weird. Oh, well. <laughs> I skipped the dialogue. It was already dark by the time Will left the cave. All right. That's weird that the uh, down button skips the dialogue. I'll have to remember that. Get back to my house. That pie is going to be ready. Gotta get the pie! Uh, that house on the top, I think? Yeah, the one the uh, weapon salesman was at. Uh, get in there! Get in the house. Will's house. Is that a Clefairy? The pig wrecking the room. But why is there a pig in my house? For bacon? Oink oink. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is it, little pig? What have you got to tell me? Well, he's pushing me out of the way. Oh, hello. Hamlet, you shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Yes, so? <gasps> what have you to say? Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, that's not very nice. Excuse me? Your father, mother, not here, huh? Well, they were a moment ago. Is this the picture of your parents? My father's an explorer. He... I know. Ullman, the explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. It looks like a Gafari. I know, right? Are you sad? No. I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. <gasps> anyway, is there a piano here? What are all these questions? No, there isn't. But Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They'll have such loud voices. Hmm. Um. Um. Okay, I guess I should get my parents as a stranger in the house. <laughs> Hello? Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. Ahaha, ah, you bringing up that... Uh, well, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago... <gasps> no! A scream from downstairs. I figured that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's that girl screaming! Oh. Okay, well, I me first. <laughs> Whoa! Princess, I've been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone! What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. Uh, kind of stuck there. What do I care if you lose your head? That's not very nice. Princess! Do you think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. <gasps> now, how are they taking her? They're not even grabbing her. She's just kind of being pulled by tractor beam. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. Yeah, I know they said your name appeared in the text. I feel as though we've met before, as if we're good friends. Okay. And away she goes. Alright. Well, I guess now we can get back to normal, right? Hmm? 
So that girl likes to play practical jokes. Hehehe, <laughs> well he rubbed that off pretty easily. Brushed it off I should say. Um, there's a big uh, viaduct under the castle. Your grandfather designed it. What, really? Oh, I skipped some dialogue. There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and I never heard from again. That's grim. Okay. Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I've made a delicious pie. Let's sit up the table upstairs. Okay, pie time. It's pie time. We get our pie. If I don't get that pie... Oh boy. We sat down for a feast of snail pie. Oh boy. With whipped cream. <laughs> snail pie? I only got one piece but Grandma Bill... Grandpa Bill... Gra Grandpa Bill, there we go, ate half the pie. It's hard to say when you're eating snail pie. Uh, that night, Will dreamed that Kara and he took a trip around the world. Okay, they just met. And the next morning, something began to happen. Alright. Go downstairs and see what's about to happen. Hello? Something has begun to happen. Good morning, Will. A letter has come from you from King Edward. This is what is written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from Oldman's Things to Edward Castle, King Edward. I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw that letter. Oh Will, I'll teach you a spell when I'm upset. Humming, this is a tune that makes me feel better. He hummed a strange melody. That's pretty. Pretty good. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. <gasps> Alright. Well, with that said, you have learned Lola's melody. <gasps> okay, that's been added. There's a bit of dialogue to get out of the way, and then we get to some uh, typical RPG action. So I'm supposed to grab the ring from upstairs, right? Crystal ring. Never heard of it, but there was nothing like that in the lowest your father Ullman left behind. Maybe we could go to Edward Castle, we could see the princess. Heh <laughs> heh. Why don't we check the luggage? Real quick. I don't think there's anything. Okay, yeah, I think we're just supposed to go to the castle. Alright, I'm going then. I I'm gonna go. You guys don't seem to be that bothered. Be careful. <laughs> Let's move. And the castle is uh, out this way. Get out of my way. King Hammond has shown you the castle. Just be careful. Alright, get out of my way. There we go. Let me, let me move. Let me move. Hey, no worries, Calvin. Good to have you here, my friend. Uh, and I will catch you next time, buddy. Next time we meet. To the castle! Let's traverse the map. Take care, Calvin. To Edward's castle we go. <gasps> Alright. What are we going to see in Edward's castle? Perhaps the princess? Hello, hello, hello. This is King Edward's castle. I must report this intrusion. Will shows the letter to the guard. A guest of the king? I'm sorry, you may pass. What may I pass for? Alright, well. It's having breakfast. Wait a while, then enter. Alright. I, I do not wait a while. I find my way around. Hello? Recently a hunter was hired. I wonder what the king is thinking. Alright, well that's not the way. Must be this way. Let's have a look through eating his breakfast. It's funny that they give uh, this stranger free reign of the place. Let's go downstairs. Ooh. This is the underground prison. Innocent people can't enter. Okay. <laughs> if that's true, then why do you have innocent people in your prison? Uh, got him. Got him. Uh, you are not who I need to speak to. Upstairs. Past these people. Across the bridge. Is it a bridge too far? It's not a bridge though, is it? Uh. Princess's room. Strangers can't enter. Who is it? Because we, we hit it off so well with the princess last time. A guest? This is just a shabby boy. Everyone's saying you look shabby. It's me, Kara. Oh, that voice. Let him in or I'll tell everyone your old nickname. Oh, pardon me. Please enter. What's his old nickname? Now I'm curious. You, yesterday, I was told to bring the crystal ring to, to King Edward. Oh boy. 
Terrible, it's terrible! Again, my father is trying to take something important from someone. I've escaped from the castle before, now they won't let me go out. Well, that kind of stands to reason. Uh, recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It's ominous, I tell you. Ominous! Princess, let's go. I feel scared. My father and mother seem to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here, please. Princess, please come back, Will. Come back? I haven't left. Oh, well, let's, let's see. Um, let's see if the king is ready to see us now. Make our way down the stairs. I see uh, one of the maids is chatting with the soldiers. I assume they're uh, maids, because that seems to be how they're dressed. Or servants of some manner. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I can enter here now. All right, let's do it. Get through and see the king. I'm spending a little more time on this game because it deserves more time on it because it's a good game. Uh, your will, you look so shabby. Everyone's saying that. Did you bring the crystal ring? I did not, so we don't have it. How dare you say such a thing to me? Throw this imprudent we weasel in the prison. Then go to Will's house and find the ring. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. I don't have the ring. He didn't even let me explain. Madame, save me! Did you say Madame? <laughs> well, she wasn't even listening, evidently. Evidently, and we're thrown in the jail. Edward's prison. And they said innocent people weren't in here. They lied. I wonder why I have to suffer so. I wonder what will become of me now. Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. I've got to get out of this place. It's locked with locks. Someone was chained to this ball. Alright. I think I have to just wait here for a little bit until somebody shows up to help me. It's locked. There's the ball. I don't think I can use my power to move it towards me. I think I have to wait around. Still locked. And then someone... Uh, ooh, hello, I got some dialogue there. <laughs> but I skipped it. Oh. Uh, let me out of this prison! I refuse to be chained up here, even though I'm not chained. Let me out of here! Not equipped. It's not equipped. Oh, there you go. Okay, bread dropped down. See, I'm not expecting when the dialogue comes, so I skip past it. We'll taste some of the bread. The bread is hard, but the worst thing he has ever tasted. For some reason, he really misses Grandpa's Lola's uh, creative cuisine. How about that? Okay. Well, we've got a meal, and I think I think we just have to walk around for a little while, and then we get some uh, we get some directions, so to speak. I'm not sure we have to keep. Time passes slowly, but the long day is ending. It pains me to think of the princess's uh, prisoner's feelings, not knowing what they should do. He's probably thinking of the princess as well. While I was trying to think of a way out, I drifted to fall asleep. Ah, oh, and we fall to sleep. But in that time, a familiar voice speaks from the flute. Will, this is your father. <gasps> my father is a flute? No, he's speaking from the flute. Father? Father, can you hear me? Um, you were a cute child, but now you've grown up. Isn't a Grandma Lola's pie delicious? That doesn't help. Uh, sure, Dad. Where are you? I can't tell you now. Uh, listen, sure, I will listen. I want you to save me. I, too, was once held in this cell. Look at the left-hand wall. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> um, so I think I have to pull it towards me. This... Have you heard anything from Grandma Bill? Grandpa? Uh, was an architect. Okay, Grandpa. Got me again. Knows the secret of that stone. Secret? Starting now, you will encounter a terrible thing. Do I have to <laughs> pick up the stone uh, of your enemy left? Okay. Power of the crystal is contained there. The power will prove to be your ally. Uh, you must make a pilgrimage to the ruins of the world to find the mystic statues. The closer you get to the crystal, the stronger the evil power will be. Will, no time! Quickly first! To the Incas ruins! Its voice fades and disappears. <gasps> Alright, well, I think I can, uh, I think I can get out of it now, right? With the power of that. Oink, oink, hello! I think someone's coming to save me if I move around a bit. Most unlikely of allies, it's locked. 
Pig, help me! <laughs> oink, oink, get me out of here! Pig! Get me out of the cell! <laughs> What's the pig doing there? Pig, you get me out of here! I wonder if this is Kara's pig. What well, luck, there's a letter and a key tied to its tail. The letter read, sorry to hear that you're in prison. <laughs> sorry to hear you're in prison, as every letter starts. Terribly, uh, terrible that my father's done, but hear what I have to say. I too am a prisoner, in a prison of silk and gold. It's not my son than my prison. Tonight, I will leave the castle forever, but also will, you will also be free. Okay, give me the key. Pig goes, you have the key. All right, now we can finally get to some action. Let's do it. Give me the key, and we can finally get out. Not equipped. Open. Open the door. I have the key. <laughs> get out of the door. Right, let me press all the buttons. Pause. Select. Items. Alright. Key, okay. Equipped. Yeah, okay, so. It turns the prison key. Steel door opens with a sound. There we go, okay. We got there. Nothing much in here. More people in prison. That takes you to a save point, which actually has some pretty awesome music. So you can check that out. Uh, big fan of the uh, save music in the dark space. And it's also a really cool looking area as well. Um, right, let me return to the real world. Through the portal. Back to Edward's prison. And move on through to get out of here. And then from here on out it becomes more of a uh, traditional action RPG. We can attack these uh ooh. we can attack these uh bats. Uh, or keys as they would be known in Zelda, with our stick, which we can also use uh to pull things towards us as well. Your HP power has increased, nice. When you defeat all enemies around you, a jewel will appear. Alright, now we know. Underground tunnel. Take that! Also, you can do a sort of jumping attack as well, which is pretty cool. Take that! More of the stabbies! Stabbing! How about him? Nice. So there's a fair bit there's a fair bit of setup before you get to uh before you get to get into the action, but that's often the way. Is that a button? No. Uh, it's, it's often the way with RPGs. Uh, I like the jumping attack. Uh, nice. Right, I think we can uh, we can do something about that guy. Not with our current uh, items. Uh, get this guy. Uh, Alright, got him. Take that, you skeleton. You fiend. There we go. More bats. Or keys, as they will be known as in uh, Zelda. Uh oh, Ooh, we'll dodge that. Pick up more of these things. So I think this if this guy appears here, I can stab him. I can stab him good. Take that. There we go. And I can pull that. I think I can pull that towards me. Yeah, sweet. So, we continue in this area. It's also a good idea to kill all the monsters. Take that! Because then you get the heart, or crystal as it said. <laughs> Bring it towards me. I think I'm quite low on H HP actually as well. So I'm going to try and make sure I dodge these. <laughs> Take that! Go and get it! <laughs> Shoot. All right, and then I'll get him. All right, grab that. Oh, and that releases him, and we can take him out. Uh, there we go, because we do need to kill all of the monsters. And we got ourselves a new item. Your strength has increased. Nice. We're much stronger now, and I think that opens up a path for us to proceed. It's cool. A cool game, a very enjoyable game. It does take a little while to get started, but it is well worth it when you get into some of the action. Take that! And ideally you want to destroy... Oh, what is that? Give me it. Give me it! <laughs> Give me the thing. 
Alright, we can pull this out of the way. There's uh I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. <laughs> Kill this. It does seem to follow us, so that's fine. Ooh. What are you doing? Oh, is it, what is it asking me a question? Is it like Navi? <laughs> hey, listen. As Navi say, come here, or the demon will get you. What? What is this madness? Can't get loose yet. Kill the bat. Kill this thing. Oh, I got him before he even started to uh, throw his fireball at me. Alright, up the stairs. Uh, that, uh... That thing was trying to tell me something, though. We'll wipe out the enemies in this area. And then I think we'll move on to the next game. Well, we have many games to get through. I just wanted to show you guys some of the actual gameplay. Ooh. Yeah, gotta kill all the enemies to unlock that area. Get him. Got him good. Ooh. Oh, that opens up. Okay, so that opens up that area. That's weird. I haven't killed all the enemies. There's still enemies. Hey, Mystic. How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Losing a guy takes you back. Great game, absolutely great game. We're going to move on to another game rather shortly because I've got a lot of games to get through in the video. But, uh, whoa, here come the attacks. Kill this guy! How are you doing, Mystic? Good to have you here, my friend. Go up the ladder. Oh, gotta dodge that. It's a maze! It's amazing! Oh, here come the bats. Get out of my way! Uh oh, yeah, wait for it to leave. Ow, ow! Kill this thing! Kill the keys! Take that! Whoa! Ow! Box me in! We won't go in! <laughs> Good to see you here my friend! Awesome to have you here Mystic! You're an amazing person! Love having you guys with me on these live streams! I think uh, I've given this game... To be fair, I, this happened on the last time I did a top 10. I gave the RPGs more time because I enjoy them so much and I got sucked in! I got sucked into the RPGs because they're so much fun. Uh, let's go kill this big bat and then we'll switch game. Uh, kill, kill the, kill the big old bat, the bat boss, and then we'll switch, switch up game. Nice. All right, and that's going to open the pathway ahead of us. Okay, guys, let's go back to the full screen, my friends. That's number seven. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're, a, we're over an hour in. We better switch to another game. Um, but that was so much fun. That's Illusion of Gaia number seven for my uh, or for my January 2019 video game pickups. The next game is another really good one, uh, and this one is uh, a really really good find as well. Um, and this is on the Mega Drive, so we'll switch over to the Mega Drives. RPGs are easily your favorite genre. I know, right? They're so much fun, and you can easily sink a lot of time into them. Um, often, often you might find yourself kind of sucked in like I was there. I just, I, I get to a point where I'm like, I, I just really want to play this game. <laughs> and that's how it is. Um, but yeah, number six now. We're on number six. And this is... Castlevania, the new generation for the Sega Mega Drive. Fantastic, fantastic game. I have it in the box, complete with a manual as well. Now, at the time, uh, this game is well over uh, 100. Um, well, I think you can find it as cheap as, like, to be honest, if you really search, you can probably get it for, like, 80. You might even be able to find it for, like, 60 if you really shop around, to be fair. But most places will sell this for over 100. And I got this in a really good deal with a bunch of other Mega Drive games. I got an upgrade to my uh, Chaos Engine. Which which included the uh, which included the box and manual which I didn't have and an upgraded cart as, as well and some other games I I think uh, I think I got Arrow Flash and uh, Rolling Thunder too I got a bunch of Mega Drive games that put them all together in a big deal and on on uh, more than one occasion I think uh, in this particular shop in St Austell I got a really good deal because I think originally the guy wanted like something like two hundred and twenty or two hundred and twenty five or something for this one game. I didn't pay anywhere near that, and I got several really good games together, and um, particularly as well because like um, the Chaos Engine was worth like 60 to 80 as well in the box. Um, so yeah, um, Castlevania New Generation, also known as Bloodlines, and I'll show you inside of here, but it does have the uh, does have the uh, manual and the cartridge, 
and we're going to go play that now. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'll get my butt kicked on this Crystalis for the NES. Good game. I love I love RPGs and I love uh, I love all that good stuff. Uh, I love retro gaming as well, which is why we started off with a lot of retro games. Plus, I, I moved them all together. All the stuff I can do on the uh, all the stuff I can do on the retro freak, I've moved together so that we can uh, we can go through that. But yeah, Castlevania: New Generation is going to be our next game for the Sega Mega Drive. So let's begin that. Another fantastic game for a fantastic system, and we're going to switch over to that right now. Here we. go go and it is another konami game because konami make amazing games of course they do um previously played nemesis on the game boy from konami the ancestors of the belmont family are doomed to confront the power of evil incarnate dracula <gasps> here we go this is an awesome entrance as well in 1917 a countess sought to revise the, revive the long dead spirit of the vampire. Her name was Elizabeth uh, Bartley. To revive him, she needed to travel. She needed to travel all over Europe, enlisting help from all the powers of darkness. <gasps> Two young vampire hunters set out to fulfill their destiny. Push back the evil hordes and drive the vampire back into his dark neverworld. <gasps> what a great entrance, right? This is a uh, this is a very good game, and here we go. Now on Bloodlines, uh, this is a European one, obviously, but on Bloodlines there'll be blood, dripping blood in this entrance. Slightly censored, but then the characters, um, I think they look a bit more feminine on this version than they do on the American version. And it went back to the title screen because I spent more than a second over that. <laughs> So let's go to the options and see if we can set it for, uh, see if we can set it easy. Give myself some more players. Five seems to be a good amount. Uh, so A is attack, B is jump, and C is item. I'm using the, uh, using the Retro Free control pad. I could actually use the USB control pad from the, the Mega Drive Mini. Um, or I could use, uh, or I could use the original controller as well, actually, with my adapter. But it is just easier to play it through with the Retro Freak right now when I'm doing so many. Um, I don't really have a preference, um, so I'm just going to pick the uh, the weapon of the vampire killer, John Morris. Yeah, whip it, whip it good. And let's get into this, let's play some Castlevania, the new generation for the Mega Drive. Ruins of Castle Dracula, Romania. Here we go. Let's dive in to this game. All right, love the love the artwork in this game as well. It's so well put together. It looks really nice. I like how they've done it. Let's begin. Ooh, sets the mood, doesn't it? I'm gonna get my butt kicked. All right. Well, something something already hit me. I think. <laughs> All right. Let's walk up the steps. The music here is amazing as well. And. Uh, Run down and get into it. I actually really hope, because <laughs> it's Konami, uh, we we may get uh, we may get copyright for it. You don't know, uh, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I think uh, I think I was definitely definitely probably gonna be safe with Nemesis, but maybe less so with uh, Castlevania. But you never know. <laughs> I said I would uh, I said I would stop uh, bothering about copyright. Kill all the zombies! Yeah! Got a zombie killing party with this vampire killer weapon. Nice, let's move up the steps. Let's take oh I still got hit even though I had the high ground. Smash the candles with your whip. That's how you do it. Just gotta whip a candle. Whip a candle good. Uh, to whip a candle. Uh, the old phrase. Move up the steps. And uh, whip some more candles. Uh, there's probably secrets lying around as well all over the place. Open the door and drop down here. Oop. I can see a monster there as well. Let's whip all the candles. Grab all the power as we move. Whoa, it's coming to get me. I don't think there's much point in killing it here. I'm going to go down the steps because you need to you need to take it out on the other side. And something's going to come out of the water. It's the evil mermen. Oop. Oop, take them out. Whoa, they keep coming. 
They're gonna get ya! Uh, gonna get you good! Uh. Alright, we took out some of the mermen. Make our way up the uh, stairs. Smashing all the candles as we go. Because you gotta smash all- I don't- <laughs> Don't, don't wanna risk- Risk my bacon for that one. Alright, we're up the top again. Let's kill that skeleton. Uh. Uh. Alright. Yes. <laughs> Let's use a, a good avenue of attack as well. Oh, we got him in one hit. Nice. Oh, we got some gold. Gold. Always believe in your soul. You might, I won't get copyright for that because I'm just saying it. And we can kill this thing here if we really want to, actually. But I don't think we need to actually bother with it. I think I just awoke it for no reason. We killed it. Right, there we go. But I knew it would be on the other side, so I knew we wouldn't have to worry about it. We'll go through the door to the other side and see what we're going to deal with now. I think I, I think a... Uh, a mini boss is, is is not far away, unless I'm thinking of another Castlevania. But we shall see. We shall see as we move. Uh -huh. There's the new generation on the Mega Drive. Now you're. I was about to say now you're playing with power, but that's uh, blast processing. <laughs> that's what we got right now. Yeah, yeah. There's a mini boss, kind of a weird monster right here. My energy's running low. Eat that. Oh, I didn't even get close. Take that. Uh, and that. How do you like that, sucker? Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in for me. Oh. Kill him. Kill him with the holy water. Uh, I'm running out of life. Oh. Running out of holy water as well. Uh, oh, I think he went. Is he dead? Nope. He's probably just more powerful than ever. He's breaking all the windows. Uh, stop breaking the windows, you jerk. Someone's going to have to fix them. Who's going to fix them now you've broken them all? Uh, smash him! Oh wow, we totally wrecked him. Look at that, his face exploded. <laughs> Did I get killed by the window shattering? That's brilliant, that's brilliant. Alright, let's go back to full screen webcam uh, after that. Uh, we've got a number of lives, but we spent too long on the RPG, of course. So let's move over. Even though the music here is amazing, and may well get me copyright. Uh, Let's go over to the full screen webcam to go on to the next game. But that was, uh, that was, uh, Castlevania, the new generation from my June 2019 pickup video. The next game, actually, funnily enough, is going to be a, a bunch of games together from a game series. Uh, the next game I'm going to show you guys. So my actual pick, my actual pick here, um, is, is, um, the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Uh, that's my that's my number five. On the phone. Hey, no worries, my friend. I appreciate you being here. Dedication on the phone. Multitasking. I appreciate it, my friend. You're awesome, Slayer. All you guys are awesome for being with me. Uh, yeah, my actual pick is Castlevania New Generation. But uh, I've already live streamed this in this game. Uh, I also live streamed the remake as well on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so my pick is going to be uh, all three games I got from a trade with uh, with the Jonin Monkey. Hey, Sinpar X, you're awesome, my friend. I appreciate you guys being here. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being with me. Um, all three games I got from Jonin with a trade were all Zelda games, and they're all great games. I got uh, The Legend of Zelda DX for the Game Boy. Also plays on Game Boy Color. This is like the color remake, if you will, or re or remaster, I guess, because they now have a remake. And then there's also Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. And um, these are like your Pokemon Red and Blue of Zelda, I guess. So Oracle of Ages is more puzzle based. And that features a lot of cool puzzles. Hey Roughneck69, thanks for leaving a like, my friend. You're awesome. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you for being here. And Oracle of Seasons is more combat based. We're going to play Oracle of Seasons. That's going to be my number five pick. And that was from... Um, that was from my May 2019 video game pickup. So let's go over to some uh, Game Boy Color action for Oracle of Seasons uh, for The Legend of Zelda. Hey Sniper, welcome. Thanks for subscribing my friend. Much appreciated. Let's play some Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Let me live gaming. Welcome to the stream my friend. How are you doing? Good to see you. Let's go and play some Legend of Zelda. For the Game Boy Color. And I will switch over to the gameplay for that as soon as I see it working on my TV. There we go. Alright. Let's do this. How are you doing, Amy? Good to have you here, my friend. 
You're okay? That's good to hear. I'm doing well, my friend. Always fun to hang out with you guys and play some games. I spent a little too long. <laughs> I spent a little too long <laughs> on some of them. Um, Alright, here we go. Let's do some Zelda. Now, the, the entrance here, the entrance here is the same um, regardless of uh, if you play Oracle of Ages or Oracle of Seasons, um, but the colours will be different. But they are very different games. A uh, rare ninja game? You playing Roughneck? That's pretty awesome. Tenchu did make some great games. They made some great games. Alright, let's do this. I like the cinematic as well. It's a cool one as we get sucked into the game. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Tremendous, eh? Hey, Silent Brit, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see all you guys here. As we start playing some Zelda, we're not going to play um, the whole game. We're, we're doing my top 10 uh, pickups. So we're going to get to this. But that music, man. It's weird that I'm safer with, with Nintendo music these days than I am with uh, like other games like Konami. Isn't that? Because I'm like worried about copyright from the Konami games. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to... I obviously haven't played very far into this. So I'm going to go erase my data here. Erase it. Oh, new game. Let's do it, alright. Uh, enter the name that we all know as MVL. Let's do it. How are you doing, Silent Brick? Good to have you here, my friend. And let's begin a new game. Message Speed 3 seems fine to me. Let's do it. And this is a really cool game. This one's the more combat-based of the two. Which systems do I collect for? I collect for every system, pretty much. Every system un under the sun. Except don't keep your systems in the sun. <laughs> if you keep your systems in the sun, they'll fade. Except our quest hero. Alright. Let's do it. There we go. Oracle of Seasons. <gasps> Looks like we've been knocked out. Someone has found us. Beautiful colours on this game, right? So I don't have a sword yet. I don't have a sword. And I can't go that way. I've got to. I've got to get my sword, but I've also got to speak to these wonderful people who are partying in the greenery. Hello, you've awakened. Good. I worried while you slept. You're NVL, right? How do you know my name? <gasps> How do you do? I do well, thank you. I'm um, Din. I saw a red flash in the woods, and when I went to see what it was, you were lying there. Mystery surrounds you, MBL. I'm just glad you're better. Come, won't you dance with me? I can't dance. Don't ask me to dance. <laughs> Alright, so I think I have to speak to the other people first. You're awake. Please relax, join our jovial troop of performers for a bit, okay? And there's this person. Oh, your eyes have opened. Are you alright? I am Impa, the troop's cook. And you are? MVL, I see. Then the dancing girl found you collapsed in the woods. She's cared for you through your nightmares. Alright, how very manly. Din is a popular dancer. Just seeing her dance raises one's spirits. Just the spirits, eh? Uh, <laughs> speak to these people. Ah, Din always looks so lovely, but she seems smitten with you. I'm jealous. Ooh, boy. Din has been caring for you since she found you. She's strong-willed, but very kind-hearted. Are they setting me up? <laughs> Alright, so we ha I think we have to speak to Din again. Don't be shy. Dancing will be fun. And then we get a dancing scene. Ah, Dance away. I'm sorry you're not, uh, you're not doing so well, Let Me Live. I hope you get better soon, my friend. That was fun. You're a good dancer. It's been some time since I had such fun. Hey, your left hand, it has a symbol on it. Well, it looks like an up arrow, but it's actually a trifle symbol. Uh, symbol. That is a sacred mark in Hyrule. If it 
If it's the true symbol, then you are a hero with a special fate, MVL. A special fate, MVL, I, um, nothing. Let's just dance. Let's dance the night away. Yeah, I told you my dance would bring disaster, and it has. From the heavens. Destruction has come down. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found you, Din, Oracle of Seasons. You hid yourself well, but you cannot escape Onox, General of Darkness. Uh, oh boy, it comes from a tornado, spinning around all of our would-be allies. And they have left us here. Get out of my way, boy. Whoa, there we go. Ah, NVL! Uh-oh. Woo! That's end us flying. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! And with the Oracle of Seasons and Onox's power, he can do some terrible things. But what do you plan to do with me? As you know, if I imprison the Oracle of Seasons and bury the temple that houses the Season Spirits, the Seasons of Holderum will be cast into chaos. The bountiful gifts of nature will rot, and all living things perish. That is the world of darkness that I long for. No, Onox, no! <laughs> I'm just a typical bad guy, so that's what I do. As you know, this is what happens, but let me explain it to you anyway, in case anyone's watching that doesn't know. Yeah! Prison him in the same crystal from Superman. Hey Vex, how you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. Down Temple of Seasons, Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter, all into chaos. Uh oh. And down it goes. Oh boy. It's all crashing down. But I think this one gets into the action fairly quickly. Quicker than Illusion of, uh, of Time did anyway. Uh, we get to get the sword fairly soon, and even without the sword, we can do some we can do some damage, so to speak. Gwahaha! I'm a typical bad guy. I do the guahaha laugh, and then we wake up. And of course, Impa is uh, is ally of Zelda, Princess Zelda, the Hyrule Royal family. Are you all right? Because we recognise that name. Actually, I am the nurse of Hyrule's Princess Zelda. And Din's no dancer either. She is actually the Oracle of Seasons, who wields control over the forces of nature. Zelda has mystical powers that told of a certain uh, curtain of shadow drawing around Din. A certain curtain? I was instructed to take her to Hyrule in secret. Zelda gave me this quest. But ow, I've been wounded and I won't be able to travel for some time. MVL, I know not why you were lying in this woods, but you and Din were fated to meet. If the trifle symbol on your left hand is really real, then you may be the hero who will save the world. Please use your power to aid Din. Please take my message to the Meku Tree in Horon Village. The Meku Tree is the guardian of all Holdorum. Holdorum? Holdorum? Surely he can help. Alright, and then she just goes in there. <laughs> Alright, and now we have somewhat free reign, but we can't go many places without our sword. And it plays a lot like Link's Awakening. Or Link to the Past, and all those sort of things. I need to find my sword, or I can't be attacking anything. But we can get there pretty quick, because I think I remember where it is. It is in this cave. And this does actually remind me of, uh, of Link's Awakening a lot, the graphical style. Oh, no, this is the wrong cave. <laughs> Come and see me whenever your quest has made you weary. This is a fairy. <laughs> it's a cave. That's the, <laughs> this is the cave right by the one I went to. Alright, it's, it's just that one. I think we can find ourselves the uh, required sword to progress further and adventure on my friends. Alright, here it is. Hero's Cave, aptly named. Aptly named. Oh, keys! Watch out for the bats! Whoa, hey, get out of that doorway, I need to go there. Alright, there's a, a block here, a very mysterious block. So I guess we just push it. 
if you have trouble with an object in life or in video games, just push it. That tends to work out. Tends to always work out. <laughs> Nothing bad will ever happen. I mean, it works in Resident Evil. I need a key here. So it'll work in pretty much any other game. Alright. I have to unlock the doors again? Alright, push it. Push it real good. Push it with power. Now you're playing with power. Nintendo power. Alright. Move that to the side. We've got to get our sword. And then we can be doing business. So here... Obviously I pushed that one there and that one there, because otherwise there won't be any other way to proceed. And we move on to this area here. There's a bunch of monsters in this area. I need something to deal with them. Dropping in is a key. We found a small key. Use it to open a locked door or block in this dungeon. Well, I think I could have figured that out. There's a locked door. I need the key. We want a sword so we can fight the monsters and save the world as was foretold. Or was told to us by Impa. Ally of Zelda. Let's do it, my friends. Let's take that key to the dungeon door. And oh, oh I gotta unlock the doors again. Push the block. Push it real good, Link. The graphics of this uh, game are very timeless, I think. Alright, open it up with a key. In another room, there's a switch there. That's gonna open that, but we can't get across from here. We have to find another way. Easy enough. Dodge all the monsters. Get to the door. Ooh, what have we found here? Hold it high above your head, Link. You got the wooden sword. This truly is a sign of courage. Hold A or B to power it up, then release it for a spin attack. All right, nice. I feel much more powerful now. All right, let's go. Let's go mess up some of these monsters. Let's go make them feel the pain for messing with us earlier. Take that, and that, and some of that. Uh, Nice, the monsters stand no chance, and we can go in this well as well. Well, 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 what's in the well? Treasure, that's what. You got 30 rupees. That's nice. Nice. And we can also enjoy murdering some of these monsters around here as well on the way out. Good stuff, the sword really unlocks, uh, unlocks all of the options in the game. Kill the monsters. Uh, take that, Keys. All right. Rupees, we got some rupees. Gotta love them rupees. All right, my friends. Let me get back to the full screen and we'll move on to the next game. After a really quick break, whilst I'm gone, guys, enjoy the music and my artwork and I will be right back very quickly. Don't go anywhere. There's more games to come. I will be right back.
And we are back, my friends. Thanks for sticking with me during the break. We're going to move on to our next game. We just did the uh, Legend of Zelda. Well, Link's Awakening was the pick, but Oracle of uh, Oracle of Seasons was the game we played. Um, I counted or uh, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Seasons, and Oracle of Ages as one pick. You can't draw a straight line. <laughs> nice art, hey, thanks, my friend. Um, yeah, I did the art myself because no one else would draw this face. Who else? Who would draw this face? <laughs> no one would draw me like they're French girls. Anyway, anyway, my friends, uh, we're going to move on to the next game. Um, that was uh, that was from uh, May, The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> uh, next is going to be uh, from uh, July 2019, and it's going to be on the Wii U. And it's going to be uh, Project Zero. And it is uh, Maiden of Black Water. This is the uh, Collector's Edition. Came with a bunch of extras as well. This game uses the Wii U, uh, Wii U gamepad. I also took the opportunity during the break to uh, make sure I changed over to the Wii U uh, input for this. So we're using the uh, we're using the Wii U gamepad. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Uh, so let's... Um, Let's, um, oh, I need to change the screens around, don't I? How do I do that? It's been a while. It's been a while. There's a button on it. Okay, there we go. Now I can start the game. <laughs> now I can start the game. All right, so let's do this. Uh, Project Zero, Made in the Blackwater, also known as Fatal Frame overseas. I'll get ready to uh, switch to that overlay when the game begins. Let's do it, and this will be this will be an interesting experience because a large portion of the game uses the uh, Wii U gamepad, so we'll see how it goes. But it's going to be fun regardless. And this was definitely in the top ten. It was a very good find, rather rare game uh, to acquire, so I'm very happy about it. So Project Zero, it's a game series I want to grab all of the games for uh, down the line as we go. Let's go into it. All right, let's hope this works. <laughs> Work when sometimes when you switch systems it doesn't like it very much. All right, Project Zero, Maiden of Black Water. This was the limited edition. It came with some extra stuff, including uh, including art art stuff. Um, not the only collector's edition on the list actually, but let's get into this. All right, Maiden of Black Water. Let's have. Uh, I turned down the volume of my headphone. I was worried there's no there's no sound for a second. I was worried. Whew. All right, there is sound. Let's have a new game. Starting a new game. Would we'll delete all previous data. That's fine. <laughs> Don't tell me about the previous data. This game is a work of fiction. All right, remember remember that. <gasps> okay, it's not real. It's not real. Hey, welcome back, Slayer. Appreciate being here, my friend. Appreciate all you guys being here. All right, we're in the mountains. And by the way, guys, using the Wii U gamepad, not sure if you can see that, I have to use the gamepad for this. The Wii U gamepad. Appreciate you being back, Slayer. Awesome, my friend. Thanks for being here, buddies. This is a really good game. High on the list, we're on number four now. Spirited Away. All right, let's do it. There's also a lot of cutscenes for this as well. Let's do this. Let's get on going on with some Project Zero action. Definitely a game I would like to stream in the future. The Project Zero series, series, for that matter. All of them. Great games. I just realised I might need... No, actually, I thought I might need to change the options, but I'm pretty sure I've already changed the game options. So that there's like... Um, my, my regular thing when I when I change game options is I like to up the brightness a little bit. I like to uh, have inversion on. But this is a very good looking game. Uh, you'll see that. Um, on, my, on, on the video for this, actually... Um, I explained a little detail about how they worked on the characters, so that'll be on my uh, July video game pickups video, where I mentioned this. And um, they, would you believe they spent a lot of care and attention making sure the characters looked good when wet? <laughs> yeah, that, that they did. Um, that was one of the things they wanted to make sure they got right, apparently. Um, so they, they spent a lot of care and attention into that. Uh, scary game, though. Scary game. Um, as we begin. I'm already creeped out. Hold me. <laughs> Alright. But it is a good looking game. Very good graphics. The Wii U is a superbly underrated console. And I will also remark that, you know, the gameplay also plays out on my on my little gamepad as well. I will probably ha be having to use the uh, Wii U gamepad a lot during this gameplay as well. Because um, I need to use, like, the camera with the Wii U gamepad. 
So we'll see. It's going to give me the controls as we play as well, so I often need a refresher every time I play a game I haven't played in a while. It's about to get creepy. Reminds me of when we played The Grudge on the Wii, actually. Very creepy stuff. Alright, run away from the ghosts. Oh boy, there's a lot of evil ghosts. Covered in hair. I have to get out of here, you don't say. Use the right thumbstick to look around. I don't think looking around is my concern. Getting the hell out of here is my concern. Alright, that's fine. I've looked around. Let me get out of here. Oh, there's a door. I adore that door because it's going to get... Whoa, hello. Uh-oh. Get off me! Alright. Move. Okay, move. Run, run, run. We've got to get out of here. Uh, head towards the exit. There's so many ghosts. Uh, you originally bought a white Wii. Uh, oh boy, there's more ghosts. Uh, you got a uh, black one. Yeah, there were a couple of different versions of the original Wii. Um, the, the latest one can't support GameCube. I think that was red though. I have to find a way out of here. Uh, but you can get them really cheap actually. When people, I've heard people say that like GameCube games are like GameCubes are hard to find. But you can find a you can find a um, a uh, a Wii very cheaply, and Wiis play GameCube games. There's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out. All right, let's move it. So, uh, and a Wii U unfortunately doesn't do GameCube. That was a big uh, a big letdown. I think they're chasing after me. I have to get out. Um, Hold down the ZL to run. Run, 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 run. Oh, of course we can't get out that way. <laughs> um, it would have been awesome if the Wii U could do... Um... Oh, boy. Uh, scary faces. It would be awesome if the Wii U could do, um... could do GameCube. But it does Wii very well. It does Wii in, H in 1080p. Or at least it outputs in 1080p. And, uh... Alright. Turn around. Uh. Okay, point the camera straight ahead. Okay. Also, my run button. Let's run. Run away. A lot of cinematics in this game as well. As we're on number four. Project Zero made in the black water. Great game. Let's move it. Oh boy, what's that? <gasps> oh dear. That can't be good. Water thing to run into. Whoa, that's scary. That's pretty scary. Oh boy. Okay, turn back. <laughs> run. Run. Let's <laughs> run away. Oh. Not this way, I have to get out of here. Okay. Oh, not this way, alright. <laughs> uh, run away! Through the open door! We'll be safe in here, I think. What could possibly go wrong after all of that chaos? How about some more things? <gasps> Hello? Well, let's just walk on in. What? is the worst that could happen. It's a box. <gasps> what could come out of that? Anything. Oh boy. Maybe a boat to sail over this troubled water. The anticipation is killing me. Huh? It's a bubble box. There you go. It's just full of bubbles. That's fine. We're good. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. It's a box full of bubbles. Wait a minute. Something else horrible gonna come out of that box? Hair! Uh oh. Ooh, you're gonna be combing that all day. That's a lot of hair. Rapunzel's got nothing on you. Uh oh. Hey. Don't you tie me up with hair. Don't do that. Oh boy. Where's all the hair coming from? Because her hair doesn't even go down that far. Paralyzed in fear, it seems. Oh. 
That'd be fine. Maybe. Perhaps. No. Hey Nintendo 2009, welcome to the stream my friend. Doing the top 10 video game pickups that I've picked up during this year. And we're on number 4 now, Project Zero Maiden of Black Water for the Wii U. I'm actually thinking it may have been inadvisable to go for the Wii U um, now, because I'm going to go back over to the um, the Xbox uh, 360, and when I go over to the 360 it's going to be in um, 720, I think, because I set my 360 720 to make it less uh, glitchy, because <laughs> it kind of, the uh, Xbox 360 games don't really run in 1080p, they upscale to 1080p, so it kind of made, it had some graphical glitches, so I moved it down to 720. I'm wondering if my, um, and there's the title screen, I'm wondering if my capture device will freak out if I go from 1080 to 720. I'm, a bit, I'm actually a bit worried about that now. If it was a game I picked up, it would be number one on the list. <laughs> or if you were a game. <laughs> I mean, um, funny, funny you should say that, Slayer. Uh, it's used on to the next chapter. On my last uh, video game pickups uh, top 10 video I did, um, I made you guys number one. You guys were number one. Uh, my, and it goes without saying this time round that all of you guys are my number one pick. Um, without a doubt. They're the best thing I picked up during the year. Alright, let's move on to the next chapter. We'll move a little further on into this game because we haven't got, I haven't got to show you much of the gimmick yet. I'm also a little bit scared when we move on to the uh, Xbox uh, 360 it might crash. <laughs> Oops. I could set the 360 into uh, 1080. That might that might be a safer way of doing it. Perhaps. I thought that I'd be scared of death. <gasps> but I can't even cry. Game very visually stunning. A lot of cool visuals that go into this game. I am alone. I'm I'm glad they give you a little bit of gameplay from the start. The end, I am alone. But it does it does bog down with a lot of um uh, with a lot of cutscenes. But it does like to play itself out a bit like a horror I'm film. Alone. Yuri? Huh? Whoa. What we're looking for should be in here. Oh, we're going in there. This is an excellent chance for you to take the lead. Here, take this. <gasps> it's the camera obscura. This is a camera obscura. It will let you see the unseen, including the clues that will help you find what we're here for. This is your opportunity, your first case. All right, <laughs> let's do it with the sure you'll do well. Didn't uh, North America didn't get a physical lease. I know, right? It works um, exactly like a normal camera. Give fortunately, time, just hold up the camera. Okay, I got to use. I got to use this. Fortunately, we did in Europe. Best X to enter photo mode. All right, guys. It's just like a normal camera. So I actually, I don't think Just I can show you this because if I did it would turn all the way around, but there you go. I'm actually controlling it with this. It's very, very interesting. But well, let's, let's take a photo. Smile for the me. Camera obscura photographs the netherworld. Uh. world Alright, let me, let me get straight. Uh. Come on, nice photo that of you. Alright, that'll do. We can also Make put it in sure portrait mode. Too much interest in the things you see. Eh. <laughs> I'm not going to get too picky about the pictures because it's hard to hold it straight. I can go away from it. Okay. All right. Now we now it wants me to get a yeah, pose for me. Thank you. There we go. We got the body and the. Uh... All right. I thought I did what it wanted me to. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, we got all the all, all the elements, including apparently the lower. <laughs> right, so we can lock on as well. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to be looking at my gamepad. That's why. 
Uh. All right. Yeah, so I actually need to look on the gamepad, which is kind of awkward. All right, so it wants me to lock on a target. Uh, with dead R, and then okay, so that's what it wants me to do. There we go. There we go. Gamepad would be perfect for Pokemon game. Never used to be like this. It would have. All right, let me exit the photo mode. There we go. It's second nature to me to look at the actual screen instead of the gamepad. It's not showing up for the um, it's not showing up like the points I need to photo on your screen, only on my gamepad, which is kind of funny. Don't panic, but be sure to stay on your guard. All right. And head inside. Touch this to display the map. Okay, let's go back to the game. All right, here we go. I'll play this for a little bit. Get into like the really scary bit. It's not just a normal photograph. It's taken to more than You can also see ghosts through the gamepad that you can't see uh, otherwise, which is pretty interesting. My, my, ooh, my hands. Gotta hand it to him. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Comes in handy that many hands. Keep on walking. Yeah, it would have been perfect for Pokemon game. I remember, I think in one of the Pokemon games, there was a Wii U in the character's, ho in the character's house, right? And I think they said, it's got a screen on the gamepad, that's so cool! I think I remember something along those lines, which was pretty funny. <gasps> oh boy. Coming to get you! That scared me for a moment. Alright, let's keep on moving. Keep on moving. Yuri, wait. I can sense something. You can sense something? Okay. Hold down ZR to find the trail. That way, alright. A shadow of the past. The token is showing you the way. Show me the way. These traces can Ooh, okay, this way. Good to have you guys here. So we play shadow. a little bit of survival horror. A little bit of survival horror. Let's move down it. I think it's going to be this big shining object, right? <laughs> what else would it be? Hold this to pick it up. Uh, pick it up. Oh, dusty book in the hallway. All right. I'm not going to read this because we're sort of against the clock, <laughs> so to speak. But a lot of games to run through, so if you want to read it, uh, you can go ahead and pause the footage and read it. If I was to live stream this game, I would run through all of the dialogue, of course. Um, but we're doing a top 10 today, so I've got a lot to get through. A lot more games to go. Alright. Follow the trail. Out of my way! Oh, I walked through her! Hello. Oh, I was supposed to use the camera obscure there. Uh, if you didn't know this was on the Wii U, you would easily mistake it for PS4 and Xbox One X. Yeah, it, uh, it looks very good, doesn't it? The Wii U was, uh, was very good. Most powerful of the Xbox 360 and PS3 era. Alright, we're going through here. Crouch. And move in. Very underrated system. The name didn't do it any favours. People thought it was a Wii. People thought it was a week. Maybe it's in this room. Door is locked. A key. Try using the camera obscura. A key. All right. Use the camera obscura. So I've got to use a technique here where I photograph the lock, and that'll like help me figure out where I go to to get the rest of it. Hold the gamepad in front of me. Sure. Got it. Enter the photo mode. And uh, look on to it. All right, let's see if we can find out. We you, we you, we you, we me, we you. <laughs> All right, so it's there. Something in the photo. All right, let's go check that out. So now I can use my um my abilities to get there. 
but I actually already know where it is. Unless we want to stay here and take and take photos of uh, take fo take photos of her. <laughs> but I think we've got work to do. So let's move through the, crawl through the corridor. Oh, there's scary ghost feet. Never mind those. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if I was gonna give the um, the Wii U a name, what would I call it? I don't know. I I honestly don't know. I mean, like off the top of my head, I would call it like something related to GamePad. Like I don't know. Like GameCube was a thing, so maybe I'll call it the GamePad. Like, eh. All right, let's pick up this. Just just so it had a different name. It's like the um, we got the key. All right. We know what door it opens. You don't need to literally walk me there that's fine <laughs> um it was a really bad name whoa ghost uh. oh he's disappeared okay lost him there's a creepy there's a creepy doll head right there what about that <laughs> never mind that it was a really bad name it reminds me actually of the new xbox guys you know the xbox uh series x it is such a weird name it's such a weird name right because, um, like, it's so similar to the Xbox One X. Like, parents getting consoles for their children are going to mess that up. Get me the Series X, the new one. Okay, I got you the Xbox One X. It's, it was slightly cheaper and also was named with an X. Alright, let's open the door then. Open the door. Uh, the Xbox Series X is a new Wii U. It definitely is. It definitely is. <laughs> Alright, take a look around. I think I remember it was on the floor here. I need to use... Oh, he's in my way! I right, need to use the, uh... Try searching with the camera obscura. Camera obscura. Uh. Invisible to the naked eye. Oh! Okay, I have to hold it in front of me before I start using it. There we go. And, uh... Hold on. There it is. Alright. I see it! I see it! Okay. The phantom power. We need to make this happen. Oh. There was going to be a point where I sort of like... Alright, so I need to hold down and then tilt it to make the book look real. Oh. Is it real? <laughs> this 360 was a good system. We're going to move on to the 360 next, actually. I might need to... I'm, I may uh, plug my 360 in quickly to my TV and change it... Um, and change it to 1080p. I might do that during this actually to make sure that we don't have any issues um, with my capture card freaking out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that whilst we're doing this. Let me get ready to do that as I move all around the screen. We shouldn't stay here any longer than we need to. Alright, and I actually plug both of them in. I, I tied all of my cables together actually, which is kind of funny. To uh, save me from messing around, uh, which was not a good idea, it would seem. But I'm going to untie my Xbox cable from the lot and hopefully not unplug the capture card for you guys. Alright. Oh no, we suffered, didn't we? Did it happen? We're good. Okay, we're good. Whew, okay. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me get back to the action. Alright. Let's move. Huh? Got the Xbox One S. Eight of the original design. Huh? Yeah, I've got the original one. It's really big. Really, really big. Oh boy, the door closed. Uh oh. Alright, never mind that. Searching for objects like we did just now might be easy. Searching for people is much more difficult. He's saying stuff, but she's running away from me, so I can't hear her. Xbox One VCR. Yeah, it, it's sort of... It does a lot of video modes. It's a strange machine. He's speaking really quietly she moves on. Alright, well, we've got some cool stuff happening. In just a moment. Whoa, ghost! Alright. Cutscene time. It's weird how the lighting changes on the cutscenes. Hey Simon, how are you call how are you doing my friend? Should have been called Xbox 2 or X2. X2 wouldn't have been so bad actually. It it's still really confusing, isn't it? Because it's like 
It's it's their it's their fourth Xbox, but they just don't want to call it Xbox Four, do they? <laughs> Whoa, ghost! A scary ghost. Got him. Because there's the PlayStation Five, and that's why they went for the 360 because it was more than the free. <laughs> so they have to call it the 360. And then they decide to have the Xbox One as an all-in-one. I would I was saying that they should call the new Xbox the original Xbox just to confuse everybody. All right, Ghost will try and grab me. All right, stop being so grabby. Uh, I have to uh, take a picture of it. I think. Uh, get off me! Stop grabbing! Oh, those sound effects are, are awkward. <laughs> All right, we got rid of him. Ooh, ah, okay, get off him. All right. All right, we all got to take more pictures of him. Uh, and the weak spots. You guys can't see the weak spots, but they're on the gamepad. Uh, I need to capture more of them. All right, enter photo mode. All right, so I can tilt it to get more weak spots. Ooh, got him. All right. The weak spots fly around him as well, which is kind of weird. Uh, get him. Uh, recharge already. Uh, don't you, don't you attack me, ghost? Recharge. Uh, all right. Lock on. Uh, we're wounding him with this. We're wounding him. Oh, that's a better one. Uh, all right, we, do we take him out? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's getting closer. Take that, you jerk. As more of these things fly around him. Uh. Uh. Oh, we went in the wall. Can I move? No. <laughs> I knew there was going to be some kind of weird, awkward... Angle in evolve. Take that. Is he, is he dead yet? Where'd he go? He's in front of me. Whoop. Take that, jerk. Alright. He's taking forever to go down, isn't he? Whoop. Alright, we need enough. Oh, he's disappeared again. He's disappeared. Alright. Fragments. <laughs> How are you doing, Simon? By the way, good to have you here. They have a problem with counting. They definitely do. They went from Windows 8 to 10. Yeah, they they it's 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 weird. All right. So those fragments floating around him. I'm not sure if you guys see them or not, but they were on my gamepad. They will uh, do more. And then there's shutter abilities as well. Shutter about these abilities. I just want to attack him. <laughs> All right. Whoop. Get ready to get him. Okay. Oh, we had all those pieces then for a second. Uh. Uh. Alright. See oh, okay. For a moment. Can I move around? I'll just keep attacking him. Maybe that'll damage him. There's these little weird things flying around him. I have to get all of them. I think that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, is he next to me? He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, the camera. <laughs> okay. Red marks. All right. On the screen. Fatal frame and frame... Whoa, the tutorials just keep coming, don't they? <laughs> Flash, uh, Flash is red. They're attacking me. All right. I think I have to knock him back as well. As well. All right. Eventually, I think it lets me move around as well. When it flashes red, I need to take a picture of him. And we can stop him attacking us. There we go. Pose is interesting. I know, right? Okay, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Whoop. Uh, attack range and attack power. So many tutorials! <laughs> Specific range, they don't take damage. So I have to get closer. Right, now it's going to let me move around, I think. Um, yeah, now I can move around so I can get closer to do more damage. Uh, to do massive damage. Uh, let me attack you, you jerk. Uh. All right. He's also got. Whoa! He missed me. Take that, jerk. But we can get all of this. Like one, one of these uh, receptacles is in his body. Several more flying around him. Where's he gone? That I have to target. Where is he? There he is. 
Ah, that looks like a good shot. Alright, is he dispelled? Is he still around? Is he still around? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, oh, there's hands. Uh oh, grabby hands. Where is he? Uh, I don't see him. I don't see him. Is he behind the wall? Uh. <laughs> you think it would work well on a smartphone? It probably would. The, the gamepad was an interesting option. Uh. Take that. Take that. Oh, we got him. We got him. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> it's an awkward, it's an awkward sequence when you're using, uh, when you're using the gamepad. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, turn on the Xbox 360 and go and change it to 1080 before I switch it in the capture device. I would love for them to do a new one or a collection. There's some, there's some they released overseas that never came over to here, which is a shame. All right, let me mess around with my TV real quick so I can uh, mess around with these settings. And get the Xbox all set up correctly for you guys with my xbox i got so many controllers around me <laughs> i let the uh, i let the cinematics play out which is actually pretty convenient while i set the xbox to 1080 so it won't uh <laughs> it won't freak out when i switch up what's going on got the uh, xbox loading wheel there you know they changed it to that like wheel um for in like windows as well never going to fatal frame if they made a collection, you get it. Yeah, I think they should. I think they should definitely make a collection. Alright, my Xbox eventually loaded up. Uh, i got to figure out how to change the system settings. So, TV. Um, console settings? Display. Oh, yeah. So, I want to change it to 1080p. There we go. All right, that should be good. Okay, so it's now at 1080p. So when I switch over to the Xbox, which will be very shortly, we shouldn't have much of an issue. With that said, I can switch over back to the uh, actual with my remote, back to the uh, back to the TV uh, with my old. Panasonic um, TV. Ahsoka, oh, what does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here, take a look. Take a look, eh? As the cinematic plays on. Project Zero 1 and 2 for the PS2. It's expensive. Yeah, I'm, fortunately I, I have those. Um, well, Project Zero 1 I have on the original Xbox. Project Zero 2 I have on the original Xbox and the PS2. And Project Zero 3 I have on the PS2. I'm still missing some though. There's one that was Japanese exclusive um, for the Wii that I don't have. Anyway, I think as this uh, cutscene continues to play, a good good point where it stopped actually. So we're going to move back over to the full screen webcam because we've got more games to get through. We've got the top three. This was nearly going to make it in, but for convenience sake, um, the top three are going to be Xbox 360 and PS4. So let's go back to the full screen webcam and turn off the Wii U, or at least attempt to press the button. Sometimes it goes in sleep mode instead. And then get that uh, get that Xbox plugged in. Hopefully this won't be a disaster. I'll be right back, guys. I'm still in shot. I'm just plugging in the Xbox. Fear not as I mess around with the cables. And hopefully nothing's going to go all right whilst I do this. And we move on to the next game. All right, my friends. I'm back. I haven't left you. I'm still here. Smooth sailing, right? Professional looking stream as you've ever seen. <laughs> all right. Okay. We've got the Xbox on, and it's looking good on my end. I've set it to 1080p. So that was Project Zero we just had. Um, and that was from 
my uh, July video game pickups video. Again, you want to check these out. You want to check out my video game pickup videos. There's my December one um, on the channel right now. They all feature gameplay footage for every game included. They're not live like this, but uh, they're a lot more concise and a lot more accurate. Next up, we're going to my uh, July again. <laughs> it's the same, same, same pickup video, different game. Uh, but this time we're on the Xbox 360 and we are going to play a game called Wet for the Xbox 360. Really cool game. I'm excited to show you guys this. I also did Wet as a uh, Patreon exclusive Let's Play as well, which was a lot of fun. Um, but we're going to play it through for you guys as well. I'd like to stream it down the line as well. So let's go over to Wet number three on the list for the Xbox 360. All right, I'll switch this over to some gameplay and hopefully it's not going to glitch out. Hopefully we're going to be good. Let's do this as we switch over to wet for the Xbox 360. I'm, 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 I'm babbling on until I see something on the screen that I can actually switch on to, in case you were wondering, uh, as it loads up and goes through the title and the, all of that stuff. Here we go. Wet for the Xbox 360. I'm blabbering on. All right. Show me something on the screen I can switch to. There we go. Wet for the Xbox 360, and it works. It didn't glitch out. We're we're doing good. All right. Wet for the Xbox 360. The settings should already be set up the way I like them from the last time I played it. It has auto save. This is a really cool game. I can't remember if there's going to be music or not. Um, yeah, I can resume game if I want to, but I'm just going to start a new story. I I have turned off the the game has a grain on the screen. I've turned that off. And I can't remember if I turned off music or not. I'm not really that bothered because we played Konami games earlier and copyright's going to be an issue for that if it's an issue for anything. So uh, let's begin story on a new game. Yes, I am aware. Every game tells me this, that I will overwrite my story progress. Is that a Magic the Gavin poster in the background? Yeah, that um, that's War of the Spark. I got uh, I got another one from a um, Eldrain bundle that I'm thinking of putting up as well. Throne of Eldrain. Um, the new set, uh, going back to Pharos. It's cool that going back to Pharos. I enjoy that the story is moving on as well. I'm gonna go on Cakewalk. Cakewalk is easy, I think. Enemies are basically cannon fodder. It says. Um, I uh, the, some of the oldest videos that are still on my channel because unfortunately I removed some videos from my channel. Uh, way back. That was a silly idea. It was silly to do that. Uh, some of my oldest videos are MTG based actually. All right Wet a euphemism alluding to hands literally wet with blood <laughs> Let's do it All right, there Let's would normally this. be screen grain. Keep the old man waiting. I turned it off. I was told Mr. Ackers was sending a woman Change of plans last minute had to send me instead. And you are? Name's Simmons well, Simmons, I don't like change. If this were any other situation, any other trade-off, my instincts would be to walk the fuck out the door and scrap this deal. Relax. I'm just here to do business for Mr. Acker. There would also be music, but that's turned Back off. The cash. Yeah. Now, are we gonna do this? You know as well as I do that what you have in the case doesn't have that long of a shelf life. All right, let's get it done. Turned off the music for YouTube. But uh, I'll have to test to see if you can use Your that instincts, music. You should trust them more often. The music's really good. Oh! And we're into the action. And this is a hack and slash game with lots of shooting action, lots of acrobatics. Here we go. Here we go. I just said that. <laughs> and we're in. A kick ass shooting action on the Xbox 360. A Wilhelm scream there. Famous movie screen. Ruby. Alright, let's do this. As I get to grips with the controls. Tackle while jumping through the air. Press A to jump and pull the right trigger to shoot. Alright, whoop. Whoop. Take that, you jerk. Off the table. Into the action. Breaking all the glasses. Alright. Attack enemies while sliding on the ground. Press B to slide. Alright. Slide. Yeah. Alright. Attack enemies while running on walls. And this is why you see that I like this game. Uh, wall run with a left trigger. Oop. Oop, I actually bounced off the wall instead of wall running. Oh, it still countered that. Okay. <laughs> Game's great reviews. Oop, but unfortunately it didn't sell well. Yeah, that's a shame. It is a good game. Oop. 
It also has really good music. You're not hearing it right now because I've turned the music off. Oop. Yeah, for YouTube purposes. Oop. Kill them all! I think we could probably get away with the music, but I'm playing it. I'm playing it on the safe side and having the music turned off. You can also shoot these sculptures as well. It's pretty funny. Take that dragon! Oh, there's fire everywhere. This is a really fun game. Whoop! Break that jerk! All right, down he goes. Who's shooting at me? Whoop! Take you out over the table. Whoop! Over or on the table. Doesn't matter for me. You're done. Very much I encourage to jump on this game because when you're on the ground you don't fire that fast. But you slow motion when you're jumping. Through the door. Simmer. Running away. As the sprinklers go on and the fire dies down but the fire is just picking up as more action continues. Alright. Automatically aims for a second gun when you jump in, so you can split target, makes it very easy to take out multiple targets at the same time, because one of them is always... <laughs> Did I ever play Discworld on PlayStation 1? I played Discworld Noir, I think I, I think I have it on the PC, and uh, that was the game I enjoyed, an adventure game from the uh, Discworld series. Very enjoyable. Alright, let's move. Take a swig. Alright, let's take a swig. Oh, press the right button would help. <laughs> nice, got it. But I think I, I think I had that game on the PlayStation 1. Oh, open the door. Crack it open. Like a jar of pickles. Alright, we got that. Uh-oh. Gotta get after him. Alright, my sword attack is X. X marks the spot. Got him. Uh, wrecking him with a sword. Love it. Whee! Okay, we can attack enemies while going down the ladder as well. Uh, uh, take that, you jerks! Nice. The game is very entertaining. Uh, very fast pace. It does feel a bit empty without the music. But, you know, that's a YouTube thing, that's not a game thing. Jump! Nice, alright. Run up the wall. A little bit of platforming. Little bit of the platforming. Oh, not like that. <laughs> like that. Alright, wall run. Pick out the barrel. Explode the barrel. Nice. Oh, we, we fell to our... Did we fall to our death? No, we're fine. Ooh. Hanging on by your fingertips. Alright. Let's make a jump for it. Get on the pole. Whee! Whee! But still got another pole to go. <laughs> ah, take him out with sword. Take him out either which way. Alright, B to slide under obstacles. Nice. Whoa. Alright, drop from ledge. Sweet. Slide under. Take him out by the kneecaps. Slide. Easy does it. Alright, we can open this up as well. Very cool game. I recommend it. Son of a bitch, open! Ugh. Get it open. Alright, let's take uh, another swig. Shoot it. That's how you get your health back. Dropping down here. The next section is really badass, actually, after this bit. I reckon I'll play this combat area. Then we'll move on. We've still got the top two to go. I played this a bit longer on my Patreon video. I'm uh, hoping to stream it at some point. Times three damage if you get those bad boys. Well, you need it, sorry. You need a times three multiplier, kill multiplier to open. That's what you do. Alright. We can also help that multiplier by going through some of these obstacles as you move on. Alright, here we go. We're ready to move. Ow, I'm getting shot already. <laughs> Through the ball. Health regen, okay. Take him down. Time three already. Oh, not quite enough. Where are the bad guys? We're on the fountain. It's going to be a fountain of blood when I'm done with it. 
Where are the bad guys? There they are. Oop. <laughs> Didn't attack. It's pretty funny. Sometimes you can actually get glitched in some of these areas as well. So cut him down. I can wall run up these bad boys to get here. Oop. To get these. I can wall run up these bad boys to kill these bad boys. <laughs> How about that? Oop. There we go. Kill him dead. Double dealer. Oop. Take him down. Alright, gotta get this multiplier up. Whee! Whoa, we're flying high right now. Oop. Gotta keep killing guys to get that multiplier up. Oop. The regular slashes don't get you much, so you need to do the uh, acrobatics. Way to use your head. Oop. Got him. I think I'll take the uh, multiplier that was over here as well. Maybe duck and dive along these bad guys. But portions of inactivity will reduce your uh, tally as well. So you got to keep keep killing, killing in the name of. Oop. Oop. I got it times three. I think that's enough to destroy this, right? There we go. Okay, that's chop. That's deals with that one. Try and keep it going. Oop. 360 dive. Elements of like uh, elements of tricks to it as well. A la Tony Hawk's. Well, not quite, but you get the you get the drift. There's that one dealt with. Oop. Where is it? Like this? <laughs> 360 dive action. 360 action on the Xbox 360 at that. How about that? Oop. I like the smack talk she talks as well when she's killing people. Oop. Oop. Take that, you jerk. Down they go. Alright, there's uh, a big uh, one there, times three. We'll take that. Alright, we're at times five now. Oop. A high amount. Oop. Where's the last one up there? Yeah, let's get up there then. Take that one out. Why? <laughs> How do I get up there? Get up there! Right up here. And from oh, from there we almost had it. Oh, hack and smash action! All right, guys, I'm gonna take a real quick break. I need to take a break real quick, and I will be right back. Back very quickly, guys.
Hey, I'm back. Sorry for that quick break, my friends. Um, hey, Retro Misfits, appreciate it, my friend. Uh, appreciate you stopping by, even though you're at work. Um, sorry for the impromptu break, my friends. <laughs> We're going to get back in the action and clear this section. To make up for um, taking a break in the middle of the action, I'll, I'll, go, uh, I'll go a little bit further on this, because it is a cool game. Alright, I need my... I need my uh, multiplier up a bit fire. So it's Y from here. Why? Because that's the button you gotta press. Alright. Alright, but I jump off here. Okay, I need to get the I need to get the multiplier up. I'll just kill all of these guys and then I'll do that. Then I'll do that. There we go. No, I need a free. Where are the bad guys? There's the bad guys. Shoot them down. Alright. I don't want to be not shooting guys as well, is, is another problem. No bad guys to shoot. I need a multiplier. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Kill the bad guys. Hack and slash. I wanted to get a combination of hack and slash and uh, and other stuff. Oh my goodness, there's no bad guys. <laughs> 360 dive. Headshot. I need it at three before I can uh, before I can open up that next area, which is kind of awkward to the fact that I've killed all the bad guys. There's no one to shoot because <laughs> they're not spawning. Because there's only oh yeah, there's only that spawn point. So I need to destroy them in more stylish ways. Maybe I can activate it without needing a times three multiplier. We'll try that actually. We'll try it. Maybe I maybe I don't need a time speed multiplier. Maybe I just smash it. I don't need a multiplier. Okay, I'm silly. I'm silly. Any more enemies to kill? I thought I needed a multiplier. Maybe that's later on. Alright, you can upgrade your weapons and stuff as you progress. Yeah, I'll play this one out a little longer. But it is a good game. Let's continue. As the trucks move away. Oh. End of scene. Last toll for refreshment time. Again, this is kind of weird without any uh, without any music. <laughs> At the snack bar, uh, but again, I turn the music off for YouTube. Ooh, donuts! I could do with a donut. It's weird that you can't just turn off copyright music and have that as the only music you turn off. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show, my friends. I hope you're enjoying time you're spending with me during this. Get any health back I lost by taking a swig. Nice. Alright. There's a hotel. <laughs> you can't get good help, I swear to God. Oh. And away he goes. Alright. Hang on from the other side, okay. Jump. Oh, slash him. <laughs> Take that, jerk. Alright. Uh, Ruby is very acrobatic. You can say that again. Oh. Slash him up. Alright, let's move on to here. Oh. Alright, run and jump. If you fail the jumps here, it's real bad. Can I shoot doing that? It's awkward you can't shoot while hanging on. Over there. Oh. But you can shoot while doing that. Smash him. Go down the ladder. Wish you can shoot while you're going down. Which is pretty cool. You can shoot while doing almost everything. Oh. And we drop down. 
So the headlights are on. Oh boy. Uh. Oh! Hammer the button! Oh, explosions! Pretty badass. And we're off and running. With more bad guys. Shoot them down. Nice. Bingo. Bingo indeed. That's not how you play bingo, that's just shooting people. Drink. Shoot it. Alright. Um, yeah, I guess I will run up here. Oh, bad guys! Slide into that shooting. Oh. Got him. Alright, we're into here. Oh. With a block of ice. Shoot these like the ice storms if you want. Smash them. Just for the lols. Oh. 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 Got him. Take him out. And then, for the lols, there's one last size sculpture. I can't leave it standing. Continue on to the next area. Alright. And it's open. Ooh, another swig. Shoot it down. Alright, let's move it. I don't believe this shit! Any remakes or remasters I'd like to see? They're remastering Disney games, that's pretty cool. I like that remasters come out. I don't have any particular preference. I guess if I had any preference, it would be games that are like particularly difficult to get your hands on. Um, I don't mind remasters coming out because it means there's more opportunity to grab those games, which is always really good. Uh, I'm always very thankful when there's more opportunities to grab games that are otherwise hard to find. Um, but yeah, I guess. I guess any my preference would be anything that's like really shooter, like maybe Panzer Dragoon Saga, like a remaster of that, uh, or honestly just a re-release of it. That would be good because <laughs> it's really expensive. That would be a good one. But yeah, actually, I, I'm a I'm a big fan of them just releasing, um, even when it's just a one uh, console generation gap, because all, uh, ultimately it makes uh, more copies out there and it's it's easy to find them. Which is always good. Ah, oh, didn't know I could shoot that guy. He moves really slow. The uh, guy running away with a briefcase. Oh, slash him down. Slash him down. You bring a bat to a sword fight. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty funny that I can shoot him. I don't think it does anything, yeah. <laughs> but you can catch up with him pretty much. Slash him down. Oh. Oh, take that, you jerks. Shooting in both directions. Oh, and cut him down. Alright, up steps. Oh, wrong button. I'm using the sword anyway. Huh? Coolest health regen animation is in this game. It has a really cool health regen animation, right? Pretty cool western style. It's peak of the devil, actually. <laughs> Bang! One more round. Alright, I'm gonna do this area. Down here. This arena. And then I'll move on. Because I said that last open area. For open area combat. Whee! Uh, but I did take an impromptu break. Um, so I kept playing it. But again, it's one of those games where it's quite addictive to play it. So if I kept saying, I'll, I'll play it a bit longer. I'll play it continuously. Played it a bit longer on my Patreon video, but I do plan to um, style points. We can get style points. Sweet. All right, cool. Um, hopefully, I will eventually stream it down the line. That would be cool. Game I want to stream. It does get the action does get even cooler down the line as well. Oh, sliding on the ground. That's pretty cool. Look. Nice. But yeah, if I keep saying I'm going to go on for longer, I'll end up playing the game all day. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Hey! Shadrach, how you doing, my friend? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. 
What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Oh. Shoot them all. Oh. Got him. Welcome, my friend. Good to have you. Now I show you something. We got him. Man, going for the jump into the slide is pretty cool. It's a shame you can't go from the slide into a jump without actually jumping. How are you doing, my friend? Shoot them all in the face. <laughs> nice. There's so much action. <laughs> Get them all. Uh. Got him. Take him down. Who's Why left? Bother? These guys. Not even looking at him, but I'm going to shoot him anyway. <laughs> How are you doing, Shadrach? Good to have you here, my friend. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Ooh, kick the ball into the screen. Alright, my friends. That's why I'm going to leave wet. We're going to move on to the next game. Otherwise, I'll be playing it all day. Otherwise, I will be playing it all day and uh, actually actually was so into playing it that I didn't show the uh, I played a bit longer than I intended to because of an uh, impromptu break but I uh, play a bit longer on my uh, Patreon Let's Play and um, but I do want to stream it down the line some point so that was uh, wet for the Xbox 360 forgot to show you the cover of it professional as always <laughs> next up we're going to move on to the number two game so wet was from my uh, July 2019 pickups. Um, from my February 2019 video game pickups is my number two game, and my number two game is Alan Wake for the Xbox 360. Love this game. I did stream this on my channel, like I intend to stream wet at some point. Um, awesome, awesome game. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Really, it's an amazing game. Um, I'm gonna go on the Xbox back to home, and I'm actually not gonna I'm not gonna uh, show you um, Alan Wake today because I've already live streamed all the way through that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, my Xbox games and I'm gonna show you some of uh, Alan Wake's uh, American Nightmare, and we're gonna go from I think there's some like arena battle modes that I haven't tried out, and we're gonna we're gonna try some of those. We're gonna do that. It's something I haven't even I haven't even played. But I've also streamed uh, uh, um, American Nightmare as well, <laughs> so we're going to get to do something I haven't done before, and give that a go from this awesome Remedy game. And we're, so Alan Wake is number two for my February 2019 uh, pickup video. Um, but we're going to do American Nightmare, or at least some of American Nightmare today for you guys. Let's get into it and play some of the modes I haven't played through before. All right, let's do it. Um, arcade action, yeah, that's what I want to try out. I haven't, I haven't done this, so we'll give it a go. Uh, cemetery is first. Graveyards is supposed to be a nice and peaceful spot, but this is anything but. Watch your back, or you just might get to enjoy a little eternal rest of your own. <gasps> Alright, let's do it. Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Uh, I haven't played these modes, actually. Cemetery, fight till dawn. Okay, so you just keep going till you can't keep going no longer. Welcome to arcade mode. Your objective is to survive until sunrise and get the highest possible score. Alright, okay, so time limit. Uh, your reward points for destroying taken. Your score multiply increases when you destroy enemies. One for successful dodgers. Enemy hits. Uh, reset. Okay, yeah, they reset my two. Multiply to zero. Alright, I can grab weapons as well. I don't remember any of the controls, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Pump action shotgun, eh? I like it. A flare gun? Yeah, I'll take a flare gun. Alright, where are the Taken? The light is safe. This will be interesting. I haven't played the arcade mode. Haven't played it. We'll see when we find some Taken. Get this going. Love this game. This will be some sort of uh, arcade action. Um, no, I'll keep I'll keep this. Take the... I can't carry anymore? Boo. Whoa. Uh, I can't remember how to dodge. <laughs> this doesn't help. Got him. I think it's one of the shoulder buttons, actually. Uh, use my light to knock him down. Nice, nice. Never seen gameplay for wet. It's a really cool game, and you know there wasn't music present during that uh, during that 
but the music really does uh, amp it up as well. The music is really good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's been a while since I played this. <laughs> Don't know the controls. Can I use the shotgun from a distance? And uh, the music really adds to the atmosphere. You know what? I'm, I'm, I almost tried to like shoot dodge then because I've just been playing wet. I can't remember the dodge buttons. <laughs> this might be a short section. But, but it's a really good game. Really good game. Alright, what is the dodge button? I think... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. What is this? Flashbang. Yeah, give me the flashbang. It is the... Uh, the left bumper is dodge. Got myself some health back. Whoa. Okay, dodge. Take this guy out with my shotgun. Got him. We just need to keep killing taken. Oh, batteries. Keep that uh, flashlight working. Eight minutes left to survive. I'm guessing they're going to get more powerful as well. More plentiful as well. I should get in the light. I think I've used up a lot of light actually. I hope the light comes back. That's pretty funny actually. I might have used up my resources a bit quickly. Uh, let's see if I can reload. Enemies are approaching. Alright. I like this actually. This is kind of cool. Was that an explosive barrel? Yeah, let's get that. Get some explosive barrel action. It's just a barrel. It's not an explosive barrel. <laughs> That's me being too hopeful. Whoa. Alright, I need some more light. Eat the flare, you jerk. That, that tore him. What ho? Oh, we dodged that one. We dodged that one. Alan Wake is brilliant. It is indeed. I much prefer the main game. The main game is, uh, I think it's a, it's 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 more of a, a better story than American Nightmare. Uh, but American Nightmare is a lot more action based, if that's your thing. Uh, American Nightmare is really good. It's a shame the only physical copy of American Nightmare is on the PC. So I had to I had to get this on Xbox. Uh, I shouldn't use that because I might need it. Whoa! Almost walked into that guy. Oop. I don't have left. Six minutes to survive. All right, might do a couple of these. I set myself a challenge for number one, by the way, my friends. I set myself a challenge for the number one game. Open it up and restock. Nice. I think I'm just going to keep using the shotgun. Shotgun's done me well thus far. Grenade thrower. Unless they're really long-ranged. I've also got the flare gun. I should probably use it. Yeah, it's good they got the rights back. Hoping for an Alan Wake... Um, Two down the line. Or well, I guess it would technically be free if you count American Nightmare. Um, but there's also going to be Alan Wake content in Control, apparently. Which seems pretty badass that that's happening. That's pretty cool. I want to get Control. Got him with the light. Uh, oh, so much light. Actually, I can't see what's going on. Ooh, more flashbangs. Let's pick up the flashbangs. Oh, use my flare. Stop attacking me. Use the flashbang as well, actually. Eat the flashbang, jerks. That'll teach them. <laughs> That'll show them what hope. Oop. I'll, actually, I'll do... I said I was going to do a couple of these. I'll do one more, because I've got to be mindful of the fact that these run a time. And uh, it is Sunday. Monday beckons. Oop. Oop. Uh, I've got another game to get through. Uh. I'll do one more after this. Uh. The next one unlocked. Haven't played these before. Pretty interesting. Nice extra mode, actually. The main the main story, of course, I enjoy more. But uh, it's pretty cool. Ooh, revolver. Yeah. Give me that revolver. Uh. Oh, he's splitting up. Got him. Oh, he's all over the place. Uh. Well, I say I'll do one more. It might, it might be another one of this <laughs> if I if I die to these monsters. You know what? I should oh I should retreat to the uh, light that I saw. Whoa! Now only dodge that. There's some light over here. Run! Don't you throw grenades! Whoa! Someone's attacking me. Uh, reload the weapon. Get stand in the light. All right, got my life back. 
Nice, okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, they're taking four more minutes to survive. Ugh. Battery in that, uh, ooh, what was that? Am I getting grenades thrown at me? Of darkness? Oh, there's weapons over here. Revolver. Eh, revolver ammo I'll take. Already have the revolver. Where is he? Over there? Alright, I see him, I see him. Whoa. Throwing your darkness grenades at me. Alright, reload that bad boy. Just under four minutes left to survive. See what we can deal with. Ooh. Nice level, actually. Ooh. I wonder if it would have been an idea just to keep that guy around. <laughs> keep that guy around and just uh, deal with less enemies and let the timer run out. Perhaps. Would have been a strategy to employ. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, he's going to attack me. Ow. Ooh. Uh, don't reload. Oh, we're going to get got. <laughs> Give me the shotgun. Alright, I feel safe with this in my arms. Uh, stop attacking me. Uh, Alright, ooh, battery. Oh my goodness, look at that size of that thing. <laughs> battery. Uh, Alright, just, just you and the big guy left. Oh, he's throwing grenades at me. I thought I was alone. Hey Midnight, how are you doing my friend? Thanks for dropping a like. Oh, there's more light. I'll get the more light. <laughs> I'm going to need it. Thanks for dropping a like Midnight. Much appreciated my friend. Oh, so close to the light. There we are. We're safe in the light, I think. Try and kill this guy. Uh. He's still coming. You know what? I'll deal with this other guy with the uh, grenades. Alright, now we're good. Alan Wake. Yeah, we're playing some American Nightmare as the number two pick on my top ten video game pickups. The games that I picked up for 2019. Man, it's a shame those aren't explosive barrels. <laughs> Alan Wake is such a good game. Alright, he's gone down. One minute and a half. Maybe I should have uh, let him continue to hound me. Maybe I should have let him continue, because now I'm going to have another wave. <laughs> that might have been inadvisable. Enemies are approaching. Flare gun ammo? Ah, uh, yeah, give me the flare gun ammo. I might need it. Whoa, might need it right now. Shoot the flare gun. Alright, that got rid of some of them. Oh, oh boy, give me that light. Oh, boy. Uh, your Sony girl. Love the Alan Wake games. Uh. Oh boy! Uh. Uh. Whoa! Uh. Oh my goodness! Oh the light! Get in the light! Oh boy! Ooh! A switch light. Got drifting issues? It may well do. I think they're using the same thumbsticks. It may well do, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it may well do. It's a uh, design issue. I actually use a Pro Controller, uh, but I don't have the Switch Lite. I have a regular Switch, but I pretty much only use the Pro Controller. I remember when I got it, I was like, eh. Alright, I've survived the time. Is that it? Now, okay, the dawn comes and it kills them all. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Because you won, I am speaking in a dramatic voice. <laughs> because I won. He's speaking in a dramatic voice. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. Glorious Dawn. Let me try the next one, then I'll try the next one. There's some more arcade action. Ghost Town. We'll do Ghost Town. See if we can survive this, and then we'll move on to uh, the last game. The number one, uh, which I have set myself a little bit of a challenge. Uh, we won't have much time with it because we're, we've already we're we're 
just about three hours now. <laughs> the night crawls with danger and horror. Morning brings salvation. Okay, enemies are approaching. Ten minutes. Alright. Enemies are approaching, but I need some guns. Ooh, crossbow. How dramatic. Hey, bad guy. Eat my crossbow. Oh, I missed him. I missed him at close range. There we go. <laughs> Switching PSN names? I haven't tried it to be to be honest. Uh, I know that's a feature they've recently added, um, but I'm too I'm too scared to do it. Like uh, a, a a long time back, I changed the channel name. Um, I too have somewhat outgrown my PSN name. <laughs> oh, bad guy! And would probably like to change it, but I do worry about losing losing stuff like your trophies or what have you. Oh my goodness, this crossbow is, is so awkward. Got him. I need another battery. I pick up the ammo. Well, I don't have a pistol, do I? Oh, I have a pistol. Okay, cool. I need uh, not the crossbow. It's like seemed like such a good name at the time, right? And then you're like, eh, you know what? That uh, I need to change that. <laughs> it doesn't represent me anymore. Ooh, shotgun. Yeah, let's have a shotgun. The shotgun did me well last time round. Finally, my arm is complete again. Ash, Evil Dead style. Boomstick action. I like these modes, actually. It's pretty cool. You could definitely uh, rung up a much higher score. This is my first time trying these arcade modes. Nine years later, you're haunted by it. <laughs> Why did I choose that? I've got everything linked to it. Same with emails. You have, like, an embarrassing email. You're like... Oh boy, I've got to I've got to tell someone this is my email, and they're gonna think that's some sort of weird dating email or something. <laughs> All right, grab this. It's like, but I got so much attached to that email, and so on. Smash him with the shotgun. I want to grab myself some more weapons. The crossbow is cool. But it's uh, a bit inaccurate. Well, it is. I mean, I guess the problem is that it is accurate, and I am inaccurate. Um, but I prefer the shotgun because it has a wider, whoa, wider range. Oh, I thought I was dodging, but I didn't. I dodged right into his attack <laughs> by not dodging. Shotgun ammo. I'll take that. Whoa, they're right next to me. I'm gonna need to get healed. Uh, stop attacking me. All right, we got him. We got him. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh, I'm walking right into the trees. Tremendous. Messes with your trophies. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do it. I probably, I probably wouldn't risk it. At least I wouldn't. Flare gun ammo, nice. Well, I don't even have a flare gun. I start to switch to it then. Whoa, dodge him. I was gonna step into the light, but it looks like I have full health anyway. So a battery, I've run out of batteries though. My, whoa. Oh, I thought there was an enemy there, it's just missed. Just smoke. Hello. I see you there. Go. Yep. There we go. Alright, six minutes. If I can find the flare gun, I'll be cooking with gas. I've already got some ammo for it. Yeah, I think if you knew this area a little better, you'd be a little better off. Uh, in that sense. Get a higher score. Groovy. <laughs> Ash from Evil Dead style. Uh, that's a shotgun. Okay, I've got a shotgun. That's fine. Let me find the. I've got flares actually. Flares are better than nothing. Flares are better than nothing. There's the flare gun. Uh, I've got three rounds for it as well. Let me save it to my time of need. Uh, take him down. I might save the pistol for a long range combat as well. I think we got a good shot if I keep my head on a swivel. Of dealing with these bad guys. If I use the correct weapon for the right time. Gotta be mindful of my batteries though. And I don't mean of the Xbox controller. Oh, you know what? There is a, there's an ammo there. So I might just use my flare gun here. Take that, jerks. Might get some ammo from this bad boy. Uh, give me more ammo. Uh, nice. Oh, I didn't refill my flare gun. Okay. 
Well, that makes sense. Flare gun is like a rare weapon. Oh, he's powering himself up. He's running into my shotgun blast, baby. Got him. Alright, still got full health as well. I'm not uh, destined for the gallows, it would seem. Gameplay wise. Where are the bad guys? A new wave incoming? Perhaps? Yes, more of them are after me. Shotgun time. He was dodging the barrel like it's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, grenade. Oh, just a regular guy. I thought I had a grenade one coming after me. Oh, he's miles away. Alright, this guy. Uh, whoa. Slow motion dodging. Reload. Surrounded by bad guys. Can I get two for one? Nope, okay. Worth a shot. Oh, he's splitting up. I know what I'll use. A flare. Take that. I have a flare for the dramatic sometimes. But a flare for taking out the Taken. No, I think my batteries... Yeah, my batteries came back when I restocked as well. No way it told me that, so I'm, I'm silly. <laughs> this was fun. Uh, this could be its own stream down the line, to be fair. The uh, arcade mode is pretty fun. Might keep that in mind. I said I wanted to uh, stream wet down the line, but this could be definitely be a candidate. Pretty fun. Oh, the birds! Hitchcock strikes! Oh. They're coming to get you! And more bad guys as well. Three minutes left. I should. Oh, I should probably use my flares. Uh, boom. Oh, where are they? Hopefully, they took out the birds. Reload. Oh, lots of bad guys. Uh, took away the armor of a lot of these taken. That's for sure. Uh, whoa, he transformed into birds. Oh boy. Whoa, I'm so doomed. Let me get into some light. Flashbang, drop it. Get my life back. Where are they coming from? Everywhere. Everywhere is where they're coming from. It looks like fun. Yeah, this is fun. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty badass. Oh, that guy came right at me. Take that. He is the bird's one, actually. Now I think about it. Ow. Oh, no. We're going to go down. I'm sure I threw a flashbang there and it didn't go off. <laughs> Two minutes to go. I need some more light. Just run. Just run. Gotta find some light. There's some light. Okay. Enemies are approaching. I'm not ready. Oh. Alright, you're between me and the light. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Grenades are coming at me. Alright, got some health back. Oh. Evil Dead. Yeah, there's some cool Evil Dead games. I think I've got one of them on the Dreamcast. Oh. Alright, that should have taken down some of them. Will you slow them down? I need to refill my uh, ammo as well, actually. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm out of everything. Stay back. Foul spawn of darkness. Just run. There's only a minute to survive. <laughs> you got to be in it to win it. But I've got to stay in it for a minute. Uh, give me the restock. Uh, whoa. No. Don't you get me cheap death. <laughs> restock. Alright. No, 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 no. Whoa. 40 seconds. Alright, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run. De dead end. Run into a dead end, MBL. <laughs> that's a that's a smart plan. Whoa. Hey, you know what? I only need to survive 30 seconds. <laughs> so that's all we need to do. 25 seconds. Oh boy. The birds are coming after me. Run. <laughs> I can I can I just run for 15 seconds? 15 seconds and we'll make it out alive. Uh, what's that? 
Uh, ooh, hello. What is that? Oh, I need manuscript pages? Alright, what is it? It was, a, it was a sniper rifle? I could have had a sniper rifle this whole time. <laughs> you alone remain on the battlefield, champion of light. I got a sniper rifle. They're all dead though. <laughs> I found a sniper rifle right at the end. That's funny. So you have to play through the main game and you unlock those. Well, honestly, guys, that was that was cool. That was a lot of fun. Um, the, playing the arcade modes from American Nightmare. We're going to switch system yet again. Let's go over to the full screen webcam. No more impromptu breaks. We've got one last game, the number one game I picked up for 2019, and we're gonna put it. We're gonna put it on. Um, Evil Dead Charm. Yeah, I have. I have some uh, Evil Dead games. They're pretty fun, actually. But here's another game that features zombies, and this is my number one pick. So we had uh, from February, I believe, uh, Alan Wake for the Xbox 360. Another pickup I got in February was a collector's edition of the Resident Evil 2 remake yeah this game is awesome um love this game um love the original the remake is also really good plays like a completely different game we're gonna switch over to it right now uh, go i'm gonna go plug in the ps4 through my capture device right now and we'll get that going so excuse me for a moment whilst i plug that in for you my friends all right, let's do it and plug in that thing so that I can show you I haven't left you. I'm just plugging in the device. All right, let's do it. Professional, professional as always. Professional as always. <laughs> All right, let's uh, turn on the PlayStation 4 and get ready for some Resident Evil 2 hype for my February 2019 uh, pickups video and don't forget my friends you can check out all of my video game pickups on the channel there's a playlist uh, there's a featured video is normally my video game pickups or game hunting and um, currently there is my um, December uh, video game pickups is out right now you guys can check that out on the channel has gameplay footage for everything it's uh, not live like this it's nicely pre-recorded and it do it's not like three hours long it's a nice good length so you can binge them if you want um, but yeah we've got one more game to go and that is going to be Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 4 from my uh, February uh, pickup videos. This was a collector edition as well. It came with a bunch of extras. I did a, I did a whole unboxing video on that. So you can check that out on my channel. Um, but yeah, let's move over to Resident Evil 2. Uh, and I'm always gonna 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 talk on a load of junk until the menu comes up so I can show you it so it goes past all the titles. <laughs> I appreciate you guys being here my friends as I run through some some weird some weird uh weird I don't know what I'm gonna say I'm weird <laughs> but uh my weird format it's a fantastic remake it is indeed Resident Evil 2 live stream this to death and I have set myself a challenge my friends something I haven't live streamed uh, from this game yet I've done a lot of the content I've done a lot of the content on this You've obtained a special costume. Ooh, special. have I obtained a special costume? That's cool. Well, let me let me check some of the bonuses uh, real quick. Uh, models? How do I check the bonus costumes? Let's go back. Is it on the options? I don't know. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. There's a load of there's a load of costumes you can go. I think is it if I click on if I click on story is that how it works? Costumes. There we go. Okay, costumes. I want to check out the stories, the costume. I want to check out the outfits real quick. There we go. Remake hype. Yeah, the, the, the Resident Evil 3 remake is coming soon. Uh, let me check out some of the alternative outfits I've got. Which all characters? Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, so I have a bunch of outfits here. We've got the casual, police, police injured. I, you have the originals, which is really cool as well. And then you have the Arclay. Uh, Sheriff and the Noir. I'm tempted to do a Noir run with it on black and white actually. I may go as far as to make the bla the webcam black and white but I probably won't. But I really like that you can have the original um, the original ones in there as well. They added that down the line. And then Claire. Yeah I must have recently downloaded those ones. Um, tank top uh, 98. And then you have the Noir as well. 
military and Elsa Walker, who was from the uh, Resident Evil 1.5, the Resident Evil 2 that never was. Uh, that's essentially just a little tribute to that. It would be nice, actually, talking about games you would like to see. I'd like to see the uh, Resident Evil 2 that never was with Elsa Walker. I'm pretty sure they could probably put it out in some form. It's a shame it wasn't. Uh, but those are the outfits. I just wanted to check those out real quick. Let's go back. They've added a uh, Nemesis... Um, document a jail document that's pretty cool actually it's nice that they keep adding stuff actually uh but yeah going off the story mode we're going to go to the extra modes i've set myself a challenge so i've done uh the other extra modes before on stream it wasn't wasn't great of them uh, i chose to i chose to stream that after i'd be doing a lot of stuff on that day i can blame that as well if i want to but i i just had a poor performance on them nevertheless i've run through them and i've run through the modes as well and everything but let's have hype for this because I haven't streamed this before. We're going to play the fourth survivor. I haven't done this on stream before. And as you can see, there's no fastest time. I haven't played through it. So I'm going to try at the end of the stream, three hours in. We're close to midnight on Sunday. And, you know, I've got, <laughs> got to work Monday. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I can do it. If I can do it, my friends. We'll give it, we'll give it a valiant attempt. A valiant attempt. Let's, let's go for it. Playing uh, this special mode, the fourth survivor. Let's do it. All right, this is this is uh, this is gonna be fun but hard. Go full on nineties. <laughs> Maybe I should do like a a nineties run. That'd be pretty funny. Let's do it. Hey, it's awesome you guys are supporting each other. All oh, awesome channels this in the chat. Night Hawk. Come in, Alpha. Thank you for Alpha, being with me. This is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. I've been trying I'm to... at point K-12. Alright. I don't remember the controls. My extraction point. Alright, which is not... Which doesn't bode well for my uh, completion of this, does it? Uh, eat that! All right, run, run, run. Oh, bitten already. <laughs> Uh-oh, just run, just run. Oh my goodness, maybe I forgot the run button. This doesn't bode well. <laughs> this doesn't bode well for me getting it done. I remember the controls as we go. All right, so that's my, what is my item button? Triangle, okay, I've got a bunch of herbs. Um, I got a, how do you reload? Square, okay, square. <laughs> Shoot this guy. Ugh. Beautiful looking game. Can't wait for the RE3 remake. You're not going to see the best run here. <laughs> Let me just throw that out there. But I'll try. I'll certainly, I'll certainly give it a valiant attempt. I want to try and get it done. Ugh. Someday. <laughs> Maybe not today. Good luck. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. <laughs> For the first time round, I think I'm going to need to like learn where everything is. Dogs in that room, I can just run past them. Alright, loads of zombies. I, do I need to bother with them? Can I just go through this door? Yeah. Alright. Zombie there, I don't think I need to worry about them. Nope. L1? Yeah, I'll use a knife. But I probably want the knife back, right? Yeah, give me the knife back. Drop on the ground. Oh my goodness, danger already? Alright. Looks like we need to use... Why do they give you, like, a, a blue and red combination? That's really weird. I guess we're going to use the mixed herb then. Uh, give me the knife back. Oh my goodness. Uh, hey, welcome back, Cactus. We're going for what is probably going to be the world's worst attempt. Oh my goodness. We're going to get gut already, I think, of uh, fourth survivor. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Lots of zombies. Can I go through this exit? There we go. It's a really dark game as well. Oop, went the wrong way. <laughs> we gotta run. Where are you gonna run to? Oh my goodness. Alright. So I'll, I'll try and remember that next time. <laughs> uh, also see Hunk. Yep. He's a hunk. Uh, oh my goodness, shoot him. Oh my, uh, fine. Take, take that. Take that. Yep. We'll see how far we get. I, I'm not feeling too confident. <laughs> oh. uh, I haven't played the game in a while. Uh, and this is one of the harder modes of it. 
Oh my goodness, fine. E e they're gonna hit as well. <laughs> Is that gonna stun him actually? No, apparently not. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Two for one. Punch him. Am I going through the floor there? Oh my goodness, all the zombies are back. I'm gonna get killed by zombies. I need to reload as well. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, wait. Am I going this way? I'm going this way. I took. Oh my goodness. Eat the grenade. <laughs> Shotgun is my best friend. That's actually a good point. I didn't even check the weapons. Uh, I should have just thrown a. Uh, I should have just thrown a grenade there, right? Oh, that's not the button. So I need to use something. Uh, yeah, I should have used the shotgun there. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's run. Run. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be a this is definitely not going to be a completion run because I've already used a lot of resources, but I know to be to use more stuff there. <laughs> oh crud! Is the run button tapping in the left thumbstick? Because he's not running very fast. Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! Guess I'm gonna knife him. Leave me alone! Monsters! Eat. Move it! Move your butt, hunk! Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we're up. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't played this since I last streamed it. Which way am I going? This way? This way. Yeah. To the police station, right? That's what he said, I think. Oh crud. Yeah, I have to change weapon. Oh my god, it did it again. So I don't remember what the controls are. <laughs> Is he dead? He's dead. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna get bitten by every last enemy. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, well this is a this is a bad place, um There's a trophy for that. <laughs> I'm glad that there's a trophy for sucking, because that's what I need. <laughs> I believe this next area has lots of zombies in, right? Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Whoa, I can't see anything. Oh no. Get off. Uh. Alright, I think we'll go through here, maybe? Keep running. Also, it's, it's like, remembering the path, so... Oh, no! Stay back. Stay back. Oh, I think he's done. I think he just, just went down. Yeah, this is a tough mode. Oh, boy. Whoa, it's, it's not dead? I thought it was dead. I guess it just jumped over my head. Oh, my goodness. Stay away. <laughs> haven't attempted it. It's pretty tough. As you can see on the opening, the onset, I haven't completed it. We'll see. I'm definitely going to give it a one more attempt after this. It's one of those things that can get quite addictive as well. But we are past three hours on the stream as well, which is another thing I need to be wary about. Forget these guys. Forget them. Leave me alone, dog. Uh, up the ladder. Uh, because Monday beckons. Ten minutes to midnight. Oh, crud. Uh. Uh, get down. Oh, boy. Uh. Run, run. Uh. You're never going to get me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, use the grenade. Oh, boy. Uh. Platinum this game? Nice. Alright. Well, considering we got bitten by every zombie at the start, I'm impressed we actually made it to the police station. I wasn't expecting that. Huh? <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Triangle. It's Mr. X. Um, I guess that's the only one I got left to use. Um. Lightning Hawk, yeah. Equip. I don't think I can attack him, but I do need a weapon equipped. 
752 over where you are? Uh oh. Oh, never mind, he walked right past me. Oh, crud. I thought I could get through there. Oh, no. Ow! Stop punching me, you jerk! I said stop punching me! Oh, no. <laughs> One more hit's gonna do it, my friends! Oh no! Grenade! <laughs> In the UK too. Yeah, it's real late. Oh my goodness, get out of my way! Bad guys! Never mind the extraction. Alright, and it's... Oh boy. I go through here, I guess? Oh. This is actually... Um... Oh, I... So for some reason I expected the shot to go through. Oh, Hunk punched me in the face. Uh, Mr. X punched Hunk in the face. Punched me into a zombie. I think it's super unfair that he doesn't go after zombies. I think this is about as far as I, I've gotten, really. Plus, over here we have a... A liquor to deal with. Ah, oh, it's got turned around again. Yeah, this... This is always my downfall. This area here. Oh, no. Oh, he attacked me in the leg. I used to be a hero till I took a uh, till I took a liquor to the knee. All right, well, let's try and do better than that. At least one more attempt. Let's try and do better. <laughs> Where am I at? I'm in Cornwall. I'm in Cornwall. Always raining in the UK. With my island cactus. Nice. Alright, let's try and do better. I have a feeling I won't do better. That's normally where I, uh, where my downfall is. Because there's a liquor, and then there's one of those plant zombies there as well. And there's Mr. X. And uh, it's just like too many enemies for me at that point. Let me try and do better. We'll give it one final attempt. Nighthawk, this is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. I've been trying to... Alright, let's move. Need info on my Near the seat. Down the point. Let's see if we can do this. Uh. Oh my, so don't let these guys bite me like mad. I think I'm free to use up this rubbish weapon here. Because it's not got much use in this area. Uh. You know what, I also think I had a pistol, right? Like a regular pistol? Oh, come on, stay away, stay away. You're close to Manchester? Yeah, it's cool. YouTube is just like... Oh, he's not, he's not even facing me, actually. YouTube is a great way to unite people. I'm impressed all you guys actually from the UK are right here when we're so close to midnight. Appreciate it, my friends. Appreciate the dedication. You guys are awesome. I'll see if we I'll see if we can do it. I haven't done it. It'll be quite a triumphant moment. But prepare yourselves to be disappointed. Because it is me. <laughs> right, how do I do grenades? How do I uh, select grenades? What right, yeah, let me select the flash grenades, yeah. Let me select the flash grenades. So I want to try and use the flash grenades if I get lots of zombies. Yep. Let's be ready for it. Yep. Alright, forget these guys. Wait, did I just switch to the pistol? Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna kill this lady because she bit me last time. Oh my goodness, and then the dog gets me. Oh. Can't remember if this guy got me or not. Let's just reload anyway. Ow. Dogs, leave me alone. Give me a chance to reload. Alright, run past these guys. And that's me out of ammo for that, and the dog's got me on caution. Oh. Save one flash for the end stretch. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm on danger already. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Damn dogs. All right. Let me equip the uh, handgun, I guess. Oh no. Get off me, dogs. <laughs> no, the handgun's really bad. I'm not going to equip the handgun. 
Maybe I should have used... Oh my goodness. Not this guy as well. Ugh. At least I can bash his head in. Oh, I can't even bash his head in? Ugh. My goodness. Shotgun served me well here last time. Oh wait, can I make... I had... Oh, I keep pressing that button. Uh, is... Is yellow and... Uh, is yellow and the regular one... Is that... Is that shotgun shells? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Give me more shotgun shells. That... Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Oh my goodness! No, I should have had my knife equipped. I'm an idiot. Kill these guys. Alright, much better. Much better, much smoother that time round. Keep on moving. Uh. Uh. Up the steps. Uh. Let's do it. I'm probably going to get turned around in that same point <laughs> as well. Uh. Oh, these. I hate them. I hate them so much. Where's the regular pistol? Um, regular pistol. Uh, is that going to be enough? Alright, we did a fair bit. Alright. I injured him. I'm going to try running past him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, no, spew on me. It's fine. It's fine. Poison, that's fine. As long as I can get past him. I think I got past two of them, right? That's not so bad. Run. That's not so bad. Avoid that guy. Don't care about him. Up here. Alright, well, we're doing probably better than last time. I missed him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Having the, uh, having the, okay, I didn't need to equip the grenades. And, oh, I did it again. Didn't need to equip the grenades until, like, right now. That's something I should have remembered. Uh. Uh. I'm doing good this time around. <laughs> I'm doing better. I'm still doing pretty bad. I got no actual herbs left. Alright, it's in in here, right? No, throw it! Darn it! Throw the grenade! There we go. Go off! Alright. <laughs> That's me in controls. Alright, let me switch weapon as well. To um, the grenades. Uh. Cool enemy poison more effective. Yeah, I like it, because like poison... Poison is normally like, eh, whatever. I remember in some of the, uh, in the originals. Uh, I pretty much ran past. Oh my goodness, die. I should have used the, uh, I should have used the magnum on him. If I see another one, I'll use the magnum on it. Uh, ah, whatever, I'll use the magnum on him. Uh, I'm not risking getting bitten. I'm going to take him out. Need to keep the health. Need to keep my health good. Yeah, in the, in the original game, like, I could walk, like, massive, massive areas of the game while on poison. <laughs> in fact, I think I did the last time I streamed the original. Alright, let's see if I can make it past where I was. I don't think I need to do anything here. I think I can just walk past here. These guys can get out of my face. Walk up here, and then... If I use the flash grenade over here, yeah, let's use the flash grenade. Oh, I keep pressing that button. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, let's use the flash grenade here. And then equip this bad boy. Uh. Alright, well, we've, we've taken less damage. I'm going to shoot her because she got me last time. I think I, no, she didn't get me, but I was laughing at how... In, oh, that's what got me. Ugh. I forgot about that. Should have remembered. Boom, baby. He's going to explode. Cool guys walk away from explosions. 
Alright, and then Mr. X is going to get involved as well. It'd be nice if I could grab some more heals, but then it wouldn't be hard if I had lots of heals, would it? Ah, oh, I walked right into that punch. Don't you double punch me. Be a good sport. Don't double punch me. Whoop. And he's gone. Alright. Move it, move it, move it. Oh my goodness. That's annoying. Hit. Run. Out of my way. Uh, uh, gotta get extracted. Oh, move fast. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. More of them. This would have been a good place for a flash grenade. <laughs> oh, I'm out of ammo. Switch to the lightning hawk. Ooh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I did it again. I turned myself around. Uh. Alright, so it's upstairs, right? Okay, we're as far as I've ever got. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of here. Oh boy. Uh, which way? Is that a green herb? <laughs> no, of course it's not a green herb. Why would it be a green herb? Oh no. Uh. Die! Uh. Alright, that's enough. i got two shots left and I think I'm out of ammo after that. <laughs> Alright, let's move it. Wait, what? Oh boy. Was I... Oh boy. Ran right into that punch. No, zombie! Come on, don't be a jerk. <laughs> I've got to move. This way, I guess? Oh, zombies. Oh boy. I don't think I've got any heals left either. Leave me alone, dog. Oh, it's tense. Can't even leave the safe room. Yeah, sometimes he gets right in your face. Uh, oh no. Oh wow. Uh, knife. Uh, oh, poop. Well, we, we did a valiant attempt. <laughs> uh, uh, crushed by the zombies. I'm bitten to the ground. Well, that's as far that's 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 as far as I've gotten. <laughs> Man, I said it was addictive. All right, all right, guys. Past midnight. One, one more time. One more. One more. One last time. To see if I can do it. Um, I gotta keep those. I uh, gotta keep those. <laughs> it, was, it was a fair attempt. I got further. Um, I've got to keep those flash grenades safe. Um, for I, I think so far I'm thinking that room at the bottom where there's loads of them, uh, and then a couple of other places. Uh, only three flash grenades though. I'm gonna make more shotgun rounds again. I'm gonna use the pistol at start. But we'll see. We'll see. Ten stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Come in, Alpha. Alpha, do you read? Nighthawk. This is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. I've been trying I'm to... at point K-12. Alright, let me combine these bad boys. Make some more shotgun shells. Get him to grips with the controls again and get him back into it. Um This is really annoying. <laughs> that they have a red herb. And a yeah, that's really annoying. Um I'll equip the grenades and the pistol. No, the pistol, <laughs> not the lightning bolt. Right. Try and use this up. 
clip. I can use Magnum to stun the plants. Yeah, the plants were really annoying. Good shout. Uh. Uh. No more bad guys, right? Yeah, just these guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what I'm learning from this? Just don't use the pistol. <laughs> pistol is rubbish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> pistol did not help. There we go. Pistol's used up. Oh, I did it again. Wrong button. <laughs> Uh, stay down. Uh. Alright, let's move it. Try and get Hulk to the exit in spite of my playing. <laughs> That's a real challenge. Of course, I could well, could well uh, do a stream on this, a dedicated stream on this. I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> At some point in the future. Could well. We'll see. Move it. Alright, this one was annoying me, so I've got to take it out. Dogs are also very annoying. Oh my goodness, the reload times. I'm going to take the bite. Oh, a danger? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, that, that happened. <laughs> um, yeah, first day is pretty sure. Oop. Alright, run and reload. Ah, oh, the dogs. The dogs did a number on me last time as well, anyway. And I say that and immediately bites at my neck, nipping at my heels, so to speak. But in this case, literally. I see you there. You're not going to bite my foot this time, sucker. Alright, let's reload. Take out these guys. What is the attempt to? Don't you get back up. Stay down. Alright, let's go to the shotgun. Oh my goodness. I, I forgot about that one. Hey, stop attacking my heels. Uh, uh, grenade in your mouth. Eat that. Eat defeat. Can I run past here? Yeah, let's do it. Run past. Yeah, we can get to at least where we were. But we might have taken too much damage already. <gasps> we shall see. It's tense. Let me reload. Drop down. These things I really hate. Can I, like, grenade this bad boy? Nope. <laughs> uh oh. I throw a grenade as well. But did I? Oh, you know what? I was trying to throw a grenade. I keep forgetting I need to press the other button as well to throw the grenade. Actually, throw it. I'll go past them anyway. They're really annoying. Alright, to this side. Yeah, you can get up slowly over there, that's fine. Over to you. Got him. Ooh. I hear scary sounds, but I don't think there's anything trying to get me here. Yeah, let's uh, reload the shotgun. But maybe I should magnum. Um, oh yeah, so this bit, I'm going to want the flash grenade. I think I'm going to want the flash grenade anyway. i got to remember to actually press the button and throw it. That's another thing. <laughs> Go off. Uh, it's annoying that it stuns me as well. Don't get caught in the rails. Alright, now I want to switch off the flash grenade, if I can, yeah, to the regular grenade. I'm going to shoot this guy with the magnum this time around. Try and save some ammo. Alright, he's down. Go back to the shotgun. Dent. 
think I could have actually just gone past this guy. He's not in the face now. No chance to deface me. Can I just run past this guy? Yeah. Run past him. Up the steps. Zombie. He's facing the wrong way. But I have a feeling he'll grab me if I'm not careful. The liquors can also be a pain in the butt. Uh, yeah, let me switch to the flash grenades. I think I want to use a flash grenade on this bit. Not this bit, but the next bit. Up here. And then I'm going to try using a flash grenade in the uh, in the office. Uh. Run past them. Don't let them get you. Yeah, I don't need a tattoo, but I do need to be ready for the liquor. Who's gonna just pounce at me? Oh, he still pounced at me. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Just used up a bunch of shotgun rounds. No, no. Explode. Thank you. Run in. Like your life depends on it. <gasps> Alright, at the top. Made it pretty far considering I really stumbled at the start. There he is. Oh, should dodge right on that one. Dodge right. What have I got left? The mixed herbs? Yeah. Run. No, I, I reckon I will uh, I will play through Resident Evil 3 and then I'll live stream it afterwards. I tend to uh, I tend to play through a game before I live stream it and I reckon it'll be the same thing because I want to I wanna experience um, the game um, myself and then I will share the experience with you guys my friends when I live stream it Whoop. you're telling me mister I'm late for extraction Whoop. oh I switched to the knife I didn't even mean to do that that's silly this is not Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah, I tend to play through a game. Um, oh, it's this way. I always get turned around there. I tend to play through a game first before streaming it. Oh my goodness. You got me. Upstairs. Oh boy. Alright, run past these guys. Ooh, alright. So, how am I doing? Oh, Magnum. Alright, is he down? Oh no. Do something. That was most unwise. Well, probably should save that bad boy for later. Uh. You usually do off camera too, yeah. Makes sense, right? Uh. Uh. Okay, oh, more zombies. At least I got ammo. I, I was out of ammo here last time round. Don't get me, dog. You stay away. Ooh. Oh, this is where I could have used that flash grenade. Darn it. Alright, run. Oh, I can't go that way. Oof. This is nerve wracking because I don't even know where to go. <laughs> oh, do I go upstairs? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, boy. Is it upstairs or downstairs? I don't know which way to go. That door's locked. Right this way. Can I go down here? Yeah, I go down here. Whoa, is that a G mutant? Oh, I can't go that way? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, hello. Exit. We're so close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> oh no. This is why I really could have used that, uh... Oh boy, is this it? <gasps> is this it? Oh my goodness, guy. I can't believe we did it. We did so badly at the start of that. <laughs> wow. What, what a high to end on. That's amazing. Why'd you come back? Awesome. Oh, the Grim Reaper. I'm happy about that. I did not think we were going to do that. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Didn't think we were going to do it. Wow. Grim Reaper. Now we have the Tofu Survivor as well. Sweet. GG's my friends. I can't believe we did that. Can't believe we did that. New game mode as we added extra modes. We have Tofu. Well done. Thanks, my friends. Did not... I didn't believe we were going to do it. That's crazy. Now unlocked Tofu as well. I'm not going to do Tofu mode, <laughs> tofu mode tonight. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Can't believe we got through it. It's pretty cool. And there's also Tofu Survivor as well. Awesome. I know there's extra Tofu modes as well that you can unlock. Um, tofu, of course, was uh, a mode that was on the original game. Uh, they originally tested the mode with uh, with a tofu, like just a block, and they decided to add it in as a joke anyway, uh, as a as a variant of Fourth Survivor. But that's pretty cool, guys. How about that? We did this Fourth Survivor. I can't believe it. Can't believe we did it. I had absolutely no confidence <laughs> in doing it. I played it a bunch before. Um, Eleven minutes is probably fine, I guess. Maybe I don't know. It's not the best time. It's not a good time, it's not a bad time, but it's my time, isn't it? It's the time we did. And we had a good time together, regardless of We went through um, 10 awesome games on this live stream. My top 10 video game pickups of uh, 2019. It's been a heck of a ride and a lot of fun. In at uh, number 10, we had Ghoul Patrol. For the... Whoop, hold it the right way around. We had Ghoul Patrol for the Super Nintendo. That was from my June pickup video. And then in at number 9, uh, wherever it's gone, we had Nemesis for the Game Boy. Nemesis for the Game Boy. Played all of these on this stream as well. Awesome game as well. He's only gone and done it, exactly. That was from my July 2019 pickup video. And then from my August 2019 pickup video, we had uh, Star X as well, the Star Fox clone. And then after that, my friends, uh, we had uh, Illusion of Time for the Super Nintendo, also known as Illusion of Gaia Overseas. That was in the next one. That was uh, number seven for my January 2019 pickup videos. And for my June 2019 uh, pickup video, we had Castlevania, the new generation, also known as Castlevania Bloodlines, of course. Running down the list. Um, awesome game. Quite sought after these days as well. And then in at number five, we had The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX from May 2019. And... That one, all, I'm also including the uh, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Um, Link's Awakening there. Jonan traded me these. Nice, nice, awesome games. I kind of lost for words because I'm so impressed that we like we got through that. <laughs> so impressed that we got through it. And then um, in at uh, number four, we had Project Zero. Uh, made in a black water for my July 2019 pickup video. For the Wii U. Then in at uh, number three, we had Wet for my July video as well for the Xbox 360. There you go. And then in at number two, we had Alan Wake. We actually played American Nightmare. 
Uh, this was from February 2019, and also from February, the game we just did, Resident Evil 2 the remake. And we went and finished the fourth survivor for that. Ten games, one stream, an awesome time together. My friends, thank you all so much for being with me. This has been so much fun. Um, going through all of these games, my top 10 video game pickups who went on far longer than I would have intended to, nearly four hours, which is absolutely crazy when you think about it. And man, uh, it, it's way past Sunday. We're in the, uh, we're in the early hours of Monday. <laughs> Thank you guys for being with me. That's dedication. You guys are awesome. Uh, it just remains for me to say, if you like the video, please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content and if you'd like to you can also support me on patreon for as little as a dollar a month once again i'd like to say thank you for watching you guys are amazing um so much fun can't believe we did the fourth survivor can't believe we did that um this has been one to remember i've been mvo hey dark souls soulless dragon <laughs> i appreciate it my friend always fun to have you you guys here my friends um, I have been MVL, and I will catch you next time. Catch you later, guys.